Quintana Prime. It's been a good one so far. There were over 200 people yes, sir. in this tournament. One of the biggest majors of the year. One of the one of the deepest majors of the year. Oh, definitely. Uh, we ran an eight-pool system, which collectively made each pool death. Top to bottom, no easy paths, no escape. The guy who wins the title belt today will have earned it, no questions. You, you were telling me some particular things about pools. Hayate didn't make it out of the pool? Hayate did not. That's crazy to me. He just came off a of top eight performance at both ESL Finals and Combo Breaker and... He made it super deep in Combo Breaker. Yeah, just yeah. like that. He loses to Silverite, a guy who's had one top 16 under his belt yeah. at Winter Brawl. And um, under the radar guy, you know he's pretty good. But today he, he kind of took it, performed, and ended up getting out of that pool himself, eliminating both Hayate and Perfect Legend on the way. Really? He did both? Yes, sir. That's a crazy pool. Okay. Well, were there any other pools that stuck out to you as being like crazy stuff happening, upsets? Got the whole list of pools. If you want to see the pools and how things look now, you can go to smash.gg, click on CEO, click on Mortal Kombat. It's all there. Yeah, um, there was a few of them. First, even just to start the tournament, uh, Dragon was actually down 2-1 to a Kenshi player, uh, Damashi from Montreal. I heard about and that. And he could have <laughs> shaken up the entire tournament just yeah, like that yeah, round one. Sure. Um, there was a lot of 3-2s. A lot of the guys who you expected to just cruise struggled hard. Um, a bunch of top eight guys failing to make out. You know, Cusco. Um, I was just going to say, I'm looking at that pool, right? Yeah. Pool, pool number, what is this, G2? Yeah. Has Dragon, White Boy, Cusco. Uh, and that was ridiculous. White Boy was actually sent to losers round two by Quiet Storm from uh, South, South, South Virginia using Molina. Forever but King's in there, too. That's a Then he had to make a run. Game. Also, a tie. Katana player from Florida. Yeah. Lost early to the Golden Jew, who no one was ready for. He's one of my local guys. Sick. And, uh, a tie has to run through Osimo, Tom Brady, okay. and Gross just okay. to get out of the pool. Okay. Ridiculous. Anyway, let's let's tell you what the top eight uh, are. In winner's side, it's going to be Sonic Fox versus Scar. It's going to be Dragon versus a Foxy Grandpa. Yeah. And then the loser's side, we're going to have Forever King against Slayer and Samij versus Wound Cowboy. Yeah, so Samij... Kid just turned 17 like two weeks ago. Yeah. Trying to input himself as one of the kids, Dragon, Sonic, Fox, right. to come up and win majors. He's the only remaining Floridian. So mm. we'll be cheering for him. Okay. With extreme bias. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> but the winner's side, as usual, the top four players on the planet, in my opinion, no question. Sonic, Fox, Foxy Grandpa, Scar, and Dragon doing what they had to do and trying to grab the coveted title belt, which is... It's like the best trophy ever. Right? Yeah. 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 The, the, the whole show of CEO, I don't know if you guys have been watching so far, but people come out. There's the entrance music. We, so were we talking about this yesterday? Yes, we're kind we of were. disappointed. Some players, you know, they have sick music, and you, like, know what they want to do, and then they sort of half-ass it a little bit, yeah. and then they kind of quit. Come on, man. Keep it up. Yeah. Take your gameplay and how godlike you are and, you know, kind of push it to your personality so we can have some epic entrances maybe you know, get viral, you know, pop, last a lifetime. Look, I could see Scar doing something like that. Uh, not sure about Dragon. Not sure about Dragon. You know what? I'm going to blow him up because Here, I can. Here's the bracket. I was tasked to collect all the theme music, you know, doing everything. My job is a T.O. here. Yeah. And Dragon hadn't given me a song until an hour before today's topic. Now, at one point... <laughs> I simply tweeted out and asked the community to give me suggestions <laughs> for Dragon Song. Yeah, okay. And we would pick it if yes. he didn't submit one. Okay. And um, his sponsor, you know, uh, Mindset, you know, head of Critical Reaction, yeah. threw a song and it's going to stick. Is it all right? I, it was before Dragon's time. You know, he's a millennial. and um, Oh, that's weird. You that's know, there might have been an R&B artist who referred to himself as a dragon once. Okay. Some platinum hair. Okay. You know. Okay. So it's definitely before his time. <laughs> yeah, Who that, knows? That's, yeah, right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. But the main stuff is going to be the gameplay. And yeah, these these top top four, you know, I, there's been threads on TYM about, you know, who should be seated for Evo, all that stuff. Those guys are, are at the top yeah. of almost every list. Yes, sir. And they've solidified it even more. There's no question. Yeah. You know, you get past the, <laughs> as we see the RIP sign. In the bootios. <laughs> We're getting to our first entrance. Oh, we got smoke. What? We have smoke machines, baby.
and the champion, the best Ooh. in the world, Young Sonic Fox, approaching the stage. And that is full seriousness. No furry panda stuff, no jokes, no tigers. Sonic telling everybody to bow to the king. And he has a hit of Paulo's vision in his oh. hand. The 50-50 bucks. Sonic Fox will be looking to mix it up. Yeah, you know he makes good good money on that. He makes it right. <laughs> he's got plenty where that came from and as right of late. He's got plenty where that came Definitely. from. Definitely. That probably was real money. We should check right, it. Right, yeah. It doesn't even matter to him. Now, one thing I want to point out. I want to give Sonic Fox props for stepping through the second rope. As we see the sticker on the turnbuckle. <laughs> It's everywhere, man. It's, it's a little thing with me. I hate to see the men go on the bottom rope as a wrestling fan. Yeah? Please step through the second as we come to his opponent, Panda Global Scar. Okay, heavy bass coming out to that 50 50 music. There he is. Oh, he pulled, he tried, he popped the rubber band on the stack, and st Scar has plenty of money as well. Oh, yeah. Fourth place at ESL, second place in season two. With his, his hype man, Adil. Yeah. Adil, everybody. Representing Display Lab. I guess. And everybody, all the ESL finalists just making it rain because they have money to blow. And Scar goes through the bottom rope to my this man. To be fair not a tall man. This is true. Scar gets a pass. All right. So he's going to be up here. One of the best players in the world. This, yes. is, this is a sick match. Winner of this will go to winner's finals, of course. They'll match up either with Dragon or a Foxy Grandpa. Sonic Fox got to this match by beating Wound. Scar got here by beating Samich. He was in winners that far, huh? Absolutely. He got out of winners of his pool, That's which was amazing. ultimate death. Uh, and that was the pool with Hayate and right. PL and all of them. Right, Ridiculous. yeah. That's crazy. Top to bottom competition. As we, hey, for the first time, we get a look at the menu screen. Mm. Make sure we regulate these guys on these who, who do you think Fox is going to go with here? Hmm. So, I mean, it's going to be Sonya. As we know, he has a on plethora star. of characters. Yeah. He will play the character that makes him feel the most comfortable as these contenders make sure that all the controllers are desynced. Oh, yes, do. get rid please of them. <laughs> you know, we had like maybe one or two issues of that happening in pools. Happens, yeah. And then as the head CEO, I have to tell the guys, it's your fault. And yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and That's the rule. Absolutely. It's been a year. Alien yeah. or... We're opening with the Cynic Alien with actual Alien. cheers from the crowd. They want to see Mix. Sonya and you know what? Demo Sonya. Having this top eight go on right after Marvel, that's a game where they mix. So everyone should be happy with it. I mean, we saw some crazy stuff in the last game, but we're <laughs> going to see it right now, too. Absolutely. Scar, tried and true, Demolition Sonya. The grenades, I like to call them the neutral stoppers. Yeah. People like Sonic Fox who like to play 0 to 100, you're going to have to chill just a bit. So much stun, so much advantage. Well, Here so we you go. Know, you know, Acidic is a threat from range, too. It's not just up close. Wow, jump one right into it. All right, so the full combo is going to blow all the grenades into the safe reload. Corner just like that. That's super smart, actually, by Sonic Fox putting it on the ground. Oh, and no punish. Right back into it, though. Reload. That's, that's the one problem for Demo is that she has to interrupt herself. All right, Sonic. Oh, anti-air with it. Big mistake, jumping into the uh, stun grenade and Scar detonating on reaction. Corner, X-ray as well. Nope, Sonic Fox is not worried about it. Oh, and the in the air. Yeah, jump. keep it going. Oh, and that was not safe. This is gonna cost him. And here we go into the acid spit. Again, that X-ray is there. The overhead. And just like that, you know how fast the life can tick. Oh yeah, no, he, she's in trouble. She's in trouble. Oh! I can't believe it. The most, that was the last thing I thought he would do. Right? Energy ring? Are you kidding me? Well, that anti-air, that's genius. Okay. All right, kids opened up. Was looking for the overhead low, but no. We're going to get the reload combo. The knockdown into what? Okay. Um, Sonic not watching his feet. Again, corner carry. Oh, the overhead this time! Just as Sonic Fox is trying to block low. And Scar knows exactly what's going yes. on. Yes! Yeah, had to break out of that. Sonic Fox maybe now with a chance. Okay, no drop! Alright, okay, Scar. 
Oh, wow. Ooh. And just got the EX grenade reload off. Getting the trade, killing Sonic, and going up the first game. All important. Immediately back in is Sonic. He's confident with his pick. I like the character pick. I mean, I, with sort of understanding what he's trying to go for. All right, dive kicking. Using the arc on the dive kick to avoid the uh, acid tail, the puddle, and the projectile itself. Really smart stuff by Star. Nice whip punish there, starting all this off. Keeping it going. Yeah. yeah nice. That's, Scar. The, that's the thing. So Scar's character can snowball. Yes. Right? Same thing with Acidic Alien. And at the same time, has these zoning options, these big space control buttons. And there we go. Scar uses all the grenades just to reload. Here it is. Oh, wow. Oh, what a good read. Yeah, Sonic just kind of knows the spacing is on point. Everything going in his favor. Jumps out of the EX grenade setup. Wow, he ran forward into that. It's crazy. Oh, it doesn't guess properly that time. Interesting to just go back and reload. That's that is, again. That's the thing about demo is that she has all this good stuff, but she does have to take time to reload. Absolutely. And the way Scar plays, his grenades are the priority. Not his meter. Not his spacing. He will sacrifice everything to get the safe reload. Yeah, damage included. Sonic Fox saving the meter. All right, Sonic sitting on a full X-ray. That's about three overhead tail flips waiting oh. to happen. Look there, the there's, oh, the there's the first one. Yep. Reload again. Oh, what a whip punish! Alright, corner combo. Nice delay. That means he has to block, though. And this time, bait Sonic. Sonic was jumping out of that setup each time. Scar Ooh. met him in the air with the game, JP. Scar just has all the reads, all the positioning. Alright, that's it. And the ground, the landing punish, even. This is gonna be it. And if you saw it, that was so smooth. Scar crouch blocked at the very last frame. Causing the jump one to whiff, getting the one to one trip guard, and that is 2 0 -oh, Scar. That was not working out. I, I, the character pick seems fine to me, but just the way that Scar solved it, you have to move away. And it it's is going now, to Aaron? It is business time early in the top eight. Now, yesterday, we saw Wound Cowboy go up against Sonic Fox 2 0, -oh, and Sonic ran it back 3 2. The kid has been down before, he's come back in this tournament. But let's see if Scar can hold him off. Who did he pick to make that happen? He kept Alien. Okay. Well, he's not a gunslinger. All right. And that, sil away. that silky smooth white hat. Can, can we talk about that? It's not bad. It's so smooth. It's like if you play gunslinger, you have to pick this skin. It's the only variation of his that I actually think looks cool because he's got the hat. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, trying to control. Yep. Who's using that to get in? Yeah. A little late. Big hit advantage when the money coin hits you. Right back to the distance game. I think that's the game that Sonic Fox wants to play. Oh, but just then, yeah, he comes Scar, in. Scar tried to break, didn't have the stamina. Ate about 80% of the combo damage and elected Ooh, not to. Down two. And that is a punish. Sonic Fox believes he can take it. Oh! Trading pokes! Into one! Yes. Oh, harassment! And yes. Oh my god! That was too much to block at once. Sonic getting opened up. Scar on match point of a 3-0 against Sonic Fox. You do not often see Sonic Fox go down 0-3, that's for sure. Trying to control this space. Yeah. Confirm. Right. Overhead low block. Alright. And back no, that that last hit. Yeah. I mean, that string knows. into gun is about 10% chip. You don't want to take it if you don't have to. For sure. <laughs> yeah, ooh. So good at that usually. Again. Ooh, oh, oh, that's... What a solution. It's too fast. Right back in there. Okay. This time, overhead low works. And Sonic dominating round, letting Scar know he is not going to lay down. Final round. What's the mix? All right. So Guess it's properly. Overhead. Oh. Okay. They're All both right. sitting on no meter. Oh, just a whiff. A chance now for Sonic Fox. To and come Scar in. now has no meter and no grenades. First time with a tick grab. Gun is the best defense. Both start. Oh, nice. Okay, found the gap. All right. Doesn't have enough hit advantage to go for a safe re reload. Sonic runs back in immediately, and this is a completely different character. What a delay on that. That was so good. Wow. And the stand one into the command grab. Sonya struggling to get anything going, and there she goes. She has grenades. I really like the pick from Sonic Fox. He's either outside of those grenade ranges, or he's right in in front. Where he oh wants to be. boy. Okay, and no, the wake away. up slide. I love it. I love it. Just get away. You just He's can't cornered. Be there. And Scar has one grenade now. One last chance for Sonic Fox. Oh no! No punish! 
That could have been it, and instead Sonic Fox takes it. That was huge. And fantastic awareness. He knew he was going to take the hit, but the trade with the uppercut was 14%, and Scar didn't have the health to survive. Sonic Fox, smart stuff. Very interesting start with down three. All right. The wake and bake, and the nice jump, jump back. Huge with punish. Got to reload. And using the invincibility from the interactable great stage awareness, Sonic waiting oh, for Oh, tried it! No! Boom. Little interrupt to the zone. The block is time from Fox. He's tried to get out of that two or three times, and each time he's been grenaded. And a huge hitbox on the detonation of the stun grenades. Sonic not wow. able to escape and breaks. He wants this round. He really believes in this round. I mean, he can do it. No! The, what a start! What a start! Match point again for Scar. The decision does not work in Sonic's favor. His back is to the wall. He has one bar meter and Scar opens him up. Oh, yeah. The damage again, not even that important. It's. Oh! He wanted corner control. No dice. Okay. Plus frames. Yep, okay, and Scar yeah. gonna armor through the gap. Reverse position, Sonic wake up, jump out, works in his favor, but still eats the combo. Fantastic stance, uh, sides change, and Sonic is on his last leg. Gotta break, yeah, I understand Sonic Fox not wanting to be there for those mix-ups, but I feel like he's kinda killing himself in his escapes. Okay, into the standoff stance. In now, the Over EX through. right through. Sonic Fox cannot take almost anything. What's he got? The oh, grab! Oh, command grab, and Sonic is going to stay alive. Risky stuff, EX oh, yeah. slide. Oh yeah. Catching Scar, trying to get the EX grenade call out, and now the tide has turned. It was that timing though, he needed to make something happen. He was dead if he, was, if he did not. Oh man, gets the grenade cancel Same. off. Uh-huh, again. And he is not allowing Scar to move. I, I love this, yeah. No, he's, he's controlling space perfectly. That was a read. Nothing out of it, but I love the idea. Oh, with punish. Slides for the damage. The ah. And just like that, Sonya's speed comes in. Sonic the block. No. No punish. Gets the down two. Anything will do it now. Sonic. There it is. That's it. That was so good. The Fox I finish unlocks his own achievement <laughs> at a major for the third time. Sonic Fox. How godlike do you have to be to have an achievement slash trophy named after yourself? Something like you win Evo and every ESL. Maybe and that's... then unlock it at multiple majors right, yeah, in yeah. top eight. Yeah. Wow. Pretty, it's pretty good at it. Wow. No, but that was that was so good. It didn't matter if he gets the hit or not. It didn't matter if he got hit or not. All that mattered is that there were two or three ticks to chip. And either Sonic... Look, if Scar had backed off to not die, hey, also cool. Yeah. He gets to, you know, Sonic Fox gets to reset. Beautiful decision making. <laughs> Ooh, jumps out of the command grab. Fantastic read. Here we go, corner carry. Call chomps on the ground. A much more uh, straightforward character choice now in Covert Sonya. Yeah, and back-to-back -back armor attacks. These guys want nothing to do with the corner. Overhead. Meter on Sonya's side. Okay, nice choice. All right. Smart man. Oh, the, the yeah, stamina yeah. just ran out. Oh, it tries to armor through. Too many gunshots coming oh, from that revolver. Ahead of himself. You can too see, fast. You can see Scar. He's diving in too much. He's going for the unsafe stuff. Round two. I get the Fight. choice. You know, the grenades weren't working out. Sonic Fox is either way outside of them or way inside. It just didn't matter that much. And a great convert. Oh, no. man. And that's an error right there. Input error. Cost him 28% of his life. There's the bar gone, but not for much damage. And reset situation, too. The run speed from Sonya. Okay, nice blocks. Doesn't guess correctly. Gets the low and a whiff punish. Gets the up guns into the slide. Hard knockdown. What's it gonna be? Gotta respect that. Or just to jump away. Oh, chance! Didn't see the rest. There have been some errors on Scar's side. I'll tell you that. Oh, uh, Sonic with the idea to armor through, but that double hitting overhead breaking the armor. Trade in his favor and the jump back one. Gotta complete it. All We're right. We're gonna go down to the final round on both sides. Sonic Fox has somehow battled all the way back, and now Scar has too. Fantastic clutch from Scar right there. Knowing what it was, did not drop the combo. Plus frames tries to jump out, but he's gonna eat this corner combo and be cornered. And no meter for Sonic Fox, but Scar has a couple. Yep, in there and now. He can break if he needs to. Not yet, though. Yeah, great cross-up anti-air from Sonic. I wonder if he's playing also. No, he's not playing for X-Ray. Into a wow. 
Wow, okay. he got the air to air in that situation. Typically, that's going to escape. And that's but gonna that's be it. enough. Sonic Fox runs it back, comes back from being down 2 0 once again, advancing to winner's final, one step closer to the coveted championship belt and a huge chunk of the 10K pop bonus from the good folks at Warner Brothers and Nether Realm and all of you who purchased the Crimson Ermac skin to help crowdfund these tournament pop bonuses. I accidentally tweeted out that we were going live at the wrong link. That's how hurried I was at the start. It happened. It if you're not live, spread the word out. Twitch.tv backslash CEO Gaming. Join us. You've only missed the start. It's just the beginning. Sonic Fox down two games to zero. Runs it back. It's a pretty good start. <sighs> so we're going to go over to Dragon versus a Foxy Grandpa. Who do we have coming up? Oh. Yeah. Okay, and Dragon, he's looking weirded out. Looking as comfortable um, as I probably would have been at age 17. He told everyone to like get hype. I'm not convinced by his hand movement. But, but Look, oh, oh, no, oh, no, genius, and he, beautiful, beautiful. He fails miserably, um, going through the bottom rope. Feet first, he didn't even turn sideways. So I'm gonna blow him up on his wrestling acumen. Um, if you're embarrassed to walk down that aisle, the best thing in the world to happen to you is to have an even more embarrassing ex entrance into the ring. Because you're going to get over it. You're going to get over it. <laughs> Coming really, up next. When I, when I was age 17, yeah. I wouldn't have been that happy to walk down that aisle. Yeah, no way. No, I wouldn't have been that pleased about it. He's a youngin'. Okay. On the other side. I like from the base. The UK, I like the base pumping through with repping his, his region. Oh, okay. Salute. Foxy Grandpa. The signature pose, it's okay. I'm Foxy. I am the number two guy. I've got this under control. My spacing and my neutral is the best. Complimented with the character. This is going to be a tough match. Either way, definitely a top tier battle coming up. Dragon's going to pick Alien. Foxy's going to pick Melina. It's going to be spacing and neutral for the most part. Both of the characters are super strong. And yeah, in part, they're strong because of that mid-range, especially with Melina. And I think that Foxy has the perfect character for himself. Even when he was Lao, I was always super impressed at his spacing game and his understanding of the pacing and his hit confirms. And if you have that stuff as Melina, with that back one too, with piercing, that, you know, you, you, make, you make the world go around with that. But at the same time, he knows when to take risks. Like, he knows, he knows when it's time to do random x-ray. Like, we've seen him do that stuff. So it's not just the solid play, it's the understanding of when to mix it up and go nutty. I think he has the full package. I mean, when you play against these guys as a competitor, you know, they're so solid. And then they pull the risky stuff, and when it hits you, you're demoralized, you know? But one thing that I think that separates Dragon and makes him what he is as a top player. This kid has incredible clutch. In scrambles, he does not panic, and he usually comes out on top like 90% of the time. He doesn't throw out random things. He doesn't, you know, start pressing buttons for no reason, no. The kid is calm, and he can taste the blood in the water this early in his FGC career. You know, last month at Combo Breaker, we saw him go down 0-2. I forgot what the match was, but he was down 0-2 and it was looking rough for him. And he had that clutch even at that young age to battle all the way back and make a deep run. So it's the characters we expected. All right. Here we go. Dragon, the first stand for America to defend the turf as we failed at Combo Breaker. That's right. That's right. Foxy, the lone international making top eight. Yeah, there were a couple of. The purge has to come to an end. We are going to use this year's purge to do something about that senator. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The purge election year, rated R. and participated. So the world's presence was definitely felt here. Didn't do as good as they wanted. Yeah. 
but they still came out to show as we see Tarkai and BMPs in this the This is corner. already exactly where Dragon wants to be. In the corner, harassing, no meter to make it more, but that's fine, he's still in there. All right, and Vixie. Oh, the risk at the start. And Foxy breaks and three all his bars on that one sequence. He oh, really man. thinks he can come back. And then the problem for him as well. Wow, okay, right into the grab. Rare situation. Tried to get the whip punish on the jump, no dice. Yep. Okay, roll it is. Yeah, if any gap is available, Molina can roll through. And Foxy's going to be option selecting that roll throughout the records completely. Every little, single time. A little bit of zoning, trying to come in, safe stuff. The grab. Oh, it's tech though. Again? Oh. oh, got a little ahead of himself. And the three bar spin in the corner pays off for Foxy Grandpa. Patience outweighing meter as he baits the EX overhead flip and gets the punish. Here comes Dragon. The meter spin this time. Gonna have the corner for himself. Again, that's where the character wants to be. Such a great corner carry. Yep, right after the pressure. Okay, no confirm though. Again uh, the tech? Three times? Been, yeah, hasn't been a throw allowed yet. Okay, the blocking this time. There was a grab last time there. And a fantastic cross-up anti-air. Puts a few sides in the alien. Stabby, stab, stab. Into the restand. Oh, missed the confirm. Or maybe just took a bet. I don't know. And Dragon's going to spin the meter. And that's another thing about Dragon, too. You never see him with full X-ray. One bar is all it takes. He will spend it. Every single time. Foxy taking it. So there were a couple of times in each round, he broke in a situation where I think many people would not, but you know, that paid off both times. He was a 2-0 in the rounds. Absolutely. Faith in his defense and his ability to get right on some 50-50 situations. And it does work out in his favor. Okay, the start. Dragon with the low there. Okay. And now he has no bar. And again, another gamble. Understanding and reading that Dragon was gonna do the back three, which has Plenty of whiff recovery. The grab. All oh, right. Okay. Rather than back one two, it's back one grab. Lovely spacing just outside of that tail. Right into the records. Gets the grab. Catches Foxy trying to roll through the gap. Presses the grab a little early, and that's the mind game with Tarkatan. There's gaps or no gaps. Up to you. Probably the ship. No. Instead, it's raw roll, regular roll. And Foxy had nothing to lose there. He was gonna lose the round to Chip. What's the? Why option? not? Dragon does not want to commit. And doesn't get the interactable off in time. Foxy's gonna run all the way up the into chip. No, he doesn't even need it. No way. The MKX special, that was a lot of our day one strategy. Yeah. Run up throw. And then this time working from three fourths screen away. That was crazy. Dragon's so worried about the size and the teleport, just caught off guard. All right. Smart thing by Foxy here, he allows Dragon to spin his meter on a meter burn slam before he breaks. So he gets something for something at all times. 34, right back in. Oh, nice interrupt. And this time gets the confirm. Doesn't uh, complete the restand combo, but gets the punish on the wake okay. up. Foxy doing what he needs to do. The restand again. Will he come in with the side? No, the, the delay? Interesting choice. Maybe looking for armor? And both of these guys afraid oh. to press buttons. Is Will the meter get built? No, not in time. 2-0. But hey, we just saw CR's counterpart, Sonic Fox. Yes, sir. In this exact same situation. And like I said, last we uh, last month at Combo Breaker, Dragon in the same situation. Down 0-2. He is not out. Yeah, you can tell immediately by the way he's opened the round. He's not timid to do media attacks. His game plan hasn't changed. He just understands that you have to continue on. Oh, the, I, he had the right read, just not quite the right timing. Ooh, opens him up with the overhead. He's going to spin the bar. Foxy breaking immediately. That's Foxy. Foxy's willing to do it. We've seen it already two times, three times in this game. All right, meaty forward one. Looking for buttons. Yeah, taking advantage now. And catches Foxy with the records after he tries to counter poke. That's the round. So Foxy's going to start this next round with effectively two bars. If he gets hit, it's all it's all gravy for him. He's shown he's willing to break pretty early. All right, Trace the interactable with the low side. Not a bad deal. Okay, nice interrupt there. Patience on Dragon's side. No meter for him, but air to air. Yeah, I like it. Meets Foxy up, catches him with the NJP. Jumping tail flip, and this time he spaces correctly with the back three. Foxy not watching his toes. Eats 
About 36%. Will Dragon pressure? Okay, there was a delayed wake up, so right in there is Dragon. And double down one. He has Foxy stalled in the, the corner. Overhead. Oh, tried it out. There's the breaker. He knew he was going to have it. He knew he would build it. And an anti air. Of course, the roll. This could be the start of something bad. This plus is going to guarantee the back one. If that's what he wants. He didn't confirm it. Tried for more. Can he try for more? He's still in there. And the roll again! Oh my god, Dragon is not gonna get the meter to break. Bait to wake up. The grab! No! That might be Ray. it. It is no one insane Ray. comeback. Oh my god, a fussy grandpa taking it to Dragon. One round away from preventing any opportunity for a comeback. He believed in himself that whole time. The whiff, yep, saw it. Owen oh, wakes up with the records now. Dragon is playing angry, gets the low. Oh, Dragon's got to play angry right now. He's yeah. uh, he's out of here if not. Yes. And another wake up. It works. Breaker, just like that. As soon as he got two, the roll again at that exact spot on screen. It's the third time. When it comes to Molina, roll. You're talking probably the best anti-air move in the game. And Foxy all point with his reactions. And now it's Dragon's turn. Can he pull a repeat comeback at the side switch? Takes Foxy to the corner. There's no meter yet, but that's not to say we're not gonna see a roll. Yeah. Of course, it's the roll. Foxy Grandpa is in winner's side. And a tea bag for the country into the fatality. Get hey, censored. You know what? He's got to give his country some level of positivity right now. It's a tough time. He's got to do what he's got to do. He's in winner's finals. It's going to be against Fox. And it looked uh, like that might have been potentially the start of things for Dragon, but he kept jumping at that spot where he was anti aired like you said. Yeah. The roll. Foxy's shown he's willing to do it, and it's uh, even the wake up there at the end. No and, um, invincibility. Did this it. time, now Molina's fatality input is down, down, yeah. down, yeah. right? So it looks like a teabag. Right. That was more than four down. I was gonna say. So that was clearly <laughs> intentional, Foxy. I know what you were doing, good sir. <laughs> was not the fatality. Yeah. So big shouts out to Derek Kurtzik down at NRS. I know you enjoyed that teabag. Molina wins, and here comes Forever King to the Rocky theme, wearing the robe from the Fatal Eight like a true champion. I love this. I love this. Oh, he should have flexed. He should have flexed. What gave us a little boxing flurry? It's tight, though. Robe, Rocky. You know what? Is King the Rocky of this tournament? You know, he hasn't really been coming out. He hasn't really been succeeding lately. This is the guy who won multiple majors, and oh, yeah. he kind of started... You know, falling back a little bit. Yep. But it's been a long time. His opponent, Yomi Slayer. Time for the Yomi team kill in top eight. They send three, two made top eight. And here comes Slayer. Hey, Slayer hamming it up a little bit. Oh, he's being nice. Kisses to the crowd. And Slayer, like a real man, goes through the second rope. I hope you win the whole tournament. Slayer, no, younger, uh, no, no longer such a youngster. You know, when he burst onto the scene, he did so well in Injustice, he was a kid. But that time is gone. But I would still think he's sort of in that crew of the younger folks in the MKX scene, in the NRS scene in Absolutely. general, because he did come in. I mean, he played MK9 a bit, but he burst onto the scene in, in I, Injustice. I think Slayer's like 12 anyway. <laughs> he looks like it. Yeah, I mean, Dragon's what, 10, Sonic's 11. Yeah, it's something, yeah, somewhere I think around Slayer's there. Yeah, Slayer's 12. Moved across the country from Southern California over to Atlanta with the Yomi boys. And uh, that, that did help him out, there's no doubt. So he's been playing Kung Jin? <clears throat> yeah, um, he used the alien once. Oh, okay. You do what you have to do. Sure. But he's Or most people think that anyway. Yeah. There are most people who think that. Not yeah. everybody thinks that. I know. Not everybody thinks that. I'm but I'm glad he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Thanks for hurting me. You got it. <laughs> and on the other side is somebody who doesn't mind at all picking whatever the character oh, yeah, man. works is. The most perennial counter picker in the history of the NRS scene. Forever King. This guy once counter picked me in MK9 three years after the game was dead. Uh, why not? Why not? So he was having fun with Kotokan recently. Says, no way. KP, I'm playing Alien. I say, you know what, King? Alien. That sounds about right. It Kung Jin, who is a solid character in his own right, has yeah. all the tools. Sure. His meterless damage may not be, you know, the best, but if that's your only weakness as a character, then you have nothing to complain about. I love Shaolin. I love that space control. I love the up-close options. It's got a lot of good stuff going for him. Yep. Yeah, with King, you know, you know, I always thought that uh, 
that Kotal was a good character? Yes, he is. When King started picking Kotal, I was like, yeah, validation. Yeah. Validation. It's true. <laughs> All right. He dropped the one top, went for the ultimate top. And here we go into the pit. Classic backdrop. Wow, what a start. These are two guys who know each other well. So you're going to see things that against other people might be a little nutty, but they know each other and their tendencies so well that they have to mix it up like that. Absolutely. And not too long ago, this is the grand final at Midwest Championships. Slayer ended up taking that. Will we see a repeat or will King turn the tide and advance? Oh, nothing, nothing else. Had the hit, but hard to see it coming. All right, gets the throw. Fantastic. That's his basic fighting game knowledge. If someone's blocking constantly everything, throw them. Open them up. And King getting that acid portal out. <laughs> that 19% damage throw. Yeah, bro. I know, right? <laughs> Who cares about the 12? Let me add right, on an yeah. extra 7. Yeah. Okay, looking for the jumps. Was not there. Trying to control space. They both have those options. Slowly right. pressuring, slowly approaching. No anti air this time, even though he has one of the best in the game. And ever. Yeah, ever. <laughs> Nine frame, three, four, three, please. Oh! Wow. Well, okay. And elects to go for the overhead tail flip. Missed out on a huge opportunity. Now getting opened up. Has to spend two bars for a breaker. Pressuring a little bit. Safe overhead. Oh, and a nice stagger. But King paying attention, watching his feet, and goes for the 50 50. Low tail left to destroy. Oh, that's not safe, but it will pay it off, I guess. Again, looks for answer, but threading the needle slayer just after it came out is when he jumps. All right, this is going to be optimal. 33%. Goes for the armor break. King with a smart delay to wake up. There and it is. Got a break. He just built it. Oh, my God. And this won't be enough to kill. Oh, he was looking for something to whip punish. Oh, and it doesn't no! connect. Doesn't connect. Slayer, understanding that he dropped out of the acid spit, wakes up. EX armor, just enough damage. Game one to Kung Jin. What's the solution here for King? So one solution is he's not playing Rocky cosplay anymore. Yeah. What's the other one though? He's got so many different characters. Hmm. Just acidic. Okay. I don't think it was a character problem. I mean, I just I really liked the timings that Slayer was using to jump, the, the mix-ups that he was using. There was a lot of attempted anti-air control from King yeah. that whiffed, and then immediately after is when Slayer jumped for the hit. Maybe he couldn't play in the hood. Maybe the roll was too much. It's, yeah, he it's felt like here. Rocky, and he overdid it. As he opens with the EX overhand tail flip, avoided instantly by Slayer. With punish, not too much, though. Yep, and Forever King ending all of his strings in either the overhead flip or the low tail, 50-50s. Not trying to just solidly play. No, he wants to mix up every single opportunity he gets. Keep it simple. If it's working, it's working. Nice whip punish. No, not the rest, though. Here, overhead start. Right into the corner. Gonna get the drop. Oh, he just... Okay. Right. Will, he, will he go for armor break? Yes. Oh, but it didn't even work. He just missed time. It wasn't armor anyway. And there you go. Up three. Anti airs comes in instantly. He barely got to the top of his uh, jump art, and King was able to knock him down out of the sky. Okay, nice read there. Still in the corner. Goes for the EX. And Combo we talk afterward. about this. All that acid. And even with the tech throw, Slayer lost 10% for teching that throw. Standing in that acid pit with the most damaging ticks. Slayer right back into the corner. Only one bar on alien side. All right, meaty jump in attack. This won't be enough for the kill. Just oh harassing. I like that. I like that choice. Wasn't something that would give King a chance to break. Just button, button. Worked out, corner control still. Huge range! And King hasn't really blocked much of the overheads. Especially at that range, I'm not sure why you wouldn't. Oh man, and the down one low chakra, which defeats all counter pokes. Mix. Mm. Ooh, doesn't quite get the punish, but catches Slayer trying to wake up without meter. King having none of it. Look at Meaty that acid, the down one interrupts. Right back into it. Nice. Slayer has recovered almost every time he's been hit. And quickly. Reed. I like the read, but he just didn't quite get what he was looking for. Now pressure. This might be it. No. Oh. What a timing on that. And that was great. Oh, oh one my time. God. The acid is out. Oh, my. The acid. So smart. After hitting the anti-air, 
King immediately put the acid puddle on the ground, which works like the call chop, yeah. just so Slayer couldn't advance, and then made him hold all the acid rain that was coming his way. Fantastic stuff from Forever King. So that anti-air has actually worked a couple of times so far. It wasn't the first game. And armor's through. Here we go. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, oh, tick. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look my at that God. No, the life is melting. And the overhead. And it'll melt more. This will be the round. This should be. The grab. Look at it. You're right. That the throw. It's still in there. He no. lost 10% from tacking the throw. How much life do you think in that round was acid? Was that 40%? At least. At least. That was genius to stay up in the air like that. Oh I love my that. god, and the anti-air slayer with no bar and very little opportunity to get out of the corner. Okay. <sighs> Goes for the dive kick after whipping the jump attack. That is definitely the slayer special. You mm, try right to punish him and he catches you before you can get your button out. King was hoping for a jump, the anti-air whip, and it was just ground approach by Slayer. Now in the le oh that he went for the mix-up this time in Forever King block. He hasn't believed in overhead. That time he was right. Okay, gets the trip guard punish. And here we go, mix up. Nice anti cross up armor attempt from Slayer. He has to spend all of his resources to do it, but he secures the round. And King opening up immediately with the overhead. He wants to get the job done. That trade is just not worth it for Slayer. Okay, now he's in. There's the overhead block. The low blocked as well. The defense from King right now. And Forever King blocking those mix-ups effectively as he gets the acid puddles out. Tick, tick, tick. The delay even. Oh, this defense right now in this round from Forever King is sealing the deal for him. Both have two bars just in case. And a nice block with a quick overhead low. Oh, and that was sick. Oh, really interesting play on both sides. That acid, that acid, no, that acid! Oh my god, and the jump attempt denied. Nine frame anti-air. Damage over time. Yeah. Three-fourth screen range. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Slayer pulling on the non-existent chin hairs. Well, they're a little, I can see a little scrub. I'll give him a little bit He's of He's got props. a few down there. A little yeah. bit. It's been a couple of months going. You know? Maybe that's his magic thing. He rubs them, and it just gives him... You know, that grown man acumen that makes him feel like, you know what? There's I am going to bully my way and do what I want to do because I'm an adult now. There's some wisdom in the chin hairs, right? I don't know about you, but when I have the, when I have the beard, I can't stop rubbing my own chin. <laughs> well, there's some knowledge right there. Takes the standing poke into the throat, granting that all-important first hit bar of needle. Hey. So he has a breaker prepared if he gets caught in an acid trap. It seems like Slayer's goal right here is to be more ranged, but instead he's just backed himself up into the corner, the restand with the acid. That's how it works. And you know what? Normally, you would call that break questionable. Forever King blocking, uh, just breaking the overhead cartwheel, but he wanted to keep corner position. Yeah. And that's just everything above all. Oh, I think that's totally fine. And with a character like that, you snowball so quickly. If you get one knockdown, two knockdowns, it's the round. Round two. Not even knockdowns necessarily. You yeah. just get acid ticks. Wow, and again, Slayer trying to jump back on his own accord to escape the ground acid. Yeah, I think he wants to outrange that stuff. I think that's the whole point of his playstyle right now. But instead, all that it's doing is putting himself in the corner. Last round, this round, same thing. <laughs> and again, King, every single time Slayer has jumped in this round, the he's been dash? tagged by the anti-air acid. All right, King waking up. Mixing it up, overhead into the low tail. And all right, here we go. Slayers in business in a nice option select. Oh, that was so godlike. King waking up with the EX overhead flip. Slayer, a meaty down one, canceling into his overhead cartwheel. Negating King's armor with the armor of his own. That's really smart stuff. That range, you see, you see Slayer's choice, but I just feel like it hasn't paid off. Sure, he did okay last game, but not for that strategy. I really don't think. Trying right. to take advantage. There's and the preemptive anti-air. That's worked out a couple times. Backdash is out. Gets the whiff punish in between the buttons on the string. Oh, and whiffs the punish. But it's okay. Works out in his favor. One bar meter apiece. Oh, the whiff! What'll he do? 
meter on Forever King's side. He's saving it. And nice fuzzy from King. Gets opened up by the drop and a reversal throw from Slayer. Great stuff. King has been taking about 80% of the throws. Trying to zone. I just don't know if that's worth it. Oh yeah, okay. And then he does he does interrupt it. Very smart. Round two. Fight. There's the grab each time that's been teched. And that same situation has happened three, four times now. Oh boy. Here we go. Overhead tail flip. Slayer has no meter. The acid's on the ground. It's there. Tex again. It's there. It's still there. No, now gone. Finally. And armor's through. The slow startup frames on that overhead. Reversal throw. 19%. 18. Tough situation right now for Slayer. He, he just... How can he move? He can't take anything. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Match point king. Remember, this is loser's side. Winner of this will play against Scar. Ooh, I feel like that was a chance. Trip guard with punish again. King, great on that. Armor's through. And the raw wake up. That wake up is so quick. It's very hard to keep your meeting meeting timing tight. Whoa! Oh. And again, Slayer knows. I like it. Is he going to take it? Can he control this long enough? Interrupted. Forever King now is going to switch the sides. And that forward one catching the back dash. King is the one now in control. And down one instead of the grab. There have been grabs so many times in that situation. And there it is! Slayer pulls through, eliminates an alien, pops off, hugs his teammate, hug. and has him exit the ring. Yeah, you can see eight or ten hairs down there. Look at that. I think two more just grew in after he beat Alien. Mm, that deep breath right there. Yeah. That is a that's a deep breath that probably grew some as hair a, on as his a chest. competitor. After you have a big victory like that and you get the deep breath, that air just feels like it it's so tasty. <laughs> it's so sweet. And then you Good look stuff. at the back and you're like, now I have to play Scar. Yeah, yeah, now you have to sort of game plan for the next one. But for those two seconds, enjoy it. Alright, now we're moving to the losers bracket. Last match, Kinetic uh, Birkin, excuse me, Samij, the last Floridian representative. It's going to be going up against Wild Cowboy. And here we go. Uh oh. Now, this is another 17 year old. And he's rubbing his hands. The Birdman hand rub. That's the, I'm not real sure what to do right now. Yep. As he goes through the bottom rope. I have to get on him about that. Now this guy's Samiz, right? He went to KIT and was double eliminated by Tyrant. Fine, cool. But all the other offline tournaments he's attended have been in Florida. The regionals, which Florida is a strong region. The lowest place he's gotten is second. He won the last two. And Wild Cowboy, Ted DiBiase theme, everybody has a price. He has White Boy behind him, who's kind of just there. Yeah, what are you doing, White Boy? Come on. Go. And Where? the Florida boy is signed in the background. Cowboy not from Florida, but White Boy is. Yep. Paulo and Paulo we trust. Oh, and he has White Boy open a rope for him. Oh, my God. Wow, Cowboy here from the other side of the country. Hold the hat. Get out of the ring. Oh, my God. And White Boy doing as he's told, exiting stage. Well, he has to walk the whole stage. Wow, such disrespect. You know, he's still walking. He is. It's, it's still, he's not off yet. We're actually watching him. <laughs> so, Samij here by beating Big D, and he had lost to Scar just before that in the top 16, and then Wound lost to Sonic Fox, and then beat Beyond Toxin yes. to get here. <laughs> the fact that White Boy is the new Virgil is just hilarious to, you know, Cowboys. The Purge has to come to an end. We are going to use this year's Purge to do something about that senator. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The Purge Election Year, rated R. Now, of course, this is the biggest task he'll ever see. But also, on top of that, 
as he just turned 17 two weeks ago, he just became eligible for ESL. <laughs> so the season finals finished, but the Challenger Cups were had two more weeks. Yeah. And he won both Challenger Cups on both systems, both weeks. Wow. All right. So he made about 2,000 in two weeks. Just for turning 17. Hey, remember, Sick. if he beats Wand right here, his result, his reward is playing against Dragon. So we're going to get this mirror <laughs> match of 17 year olds, and that's what happens. Welcome to the big time where the kids steal all of our money. Look, I really like that about the NRS scene, though. I feel like a bunch of the talent right now is the youngsters. Yes. Of course, there are still some established players from Injustice Days, from MK9 Days, but I like having that new crop. That's so important for the scene survival to have these new people who, down the line, They'll be, the, they'll be the old folks, there'll be new ones. That is an important transition. Absolutely, and as we get into it, um, um, Cowboy, day one Shinnok main, sticking through all the changes when he was buffed to godlike. Yep. You know, normalized, still a very solid character, For and sure. a punish on the overhead, Samij. Here we go, into the restand. What's it gonna be? Back one, guaranteed? No, but okay, the low. See, and Cowboy's such a smart player that Samij, doesn't have to condition him with that. He's going to respect it because he know he has to, you know, technically. Oh! But the risky stuff early from that Cowboy. That was so good to take that side like that. And as a result, he's going to get the corner. Fantastic. That was great. Jumps to the outside. Yep. Has enough execution to get that jump kick into the tele kick. Full combo damage optimized. So already I like the punish. I like the combo. I like the spacing. He waited on the EX scoop. Looking good so far. Yeah, the kid is... Okay. okay, and armor's through. Uh, the kid is a little, uh, you know, playing very fast. And Cowboy waiting for the right moment. Spins the bar. Oh, oh the lovely oh, delay. And that's so sweet. Cowboy gets away with that so much because it really is that good. Stagger into that forward four, which is an eight frame low start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People Please. often look for low block than high block, right? Because it's a little bit slower on the overhead. So if you have that delay, genius. And no reaction from Samija as Cowboy does the 30 plus frame unblockable right in his face. Oh, can he keep it up? Not quite there. Meters on Wound Cowboy's side. What? Looking for and footsies? I don't know. Doesn't get the punish, but has oh, the bar. Jailed right in there. Oh, and he got the grab, and that's going to be that game. What a finish. That was so. That was the decision to make. It's very gutsy. Very and it worked play. in his favor. Samish taking game one, but now gets slapped for his trouble. Shinnok not too happy with that. All right. Burns the meter, stays plus, gets another throw, and hopefully the 12% start to add up. Oh, okay, there's the delay in the overhead. He took the wrist last. Oh, no, the drop. Wound. Yeah. It goes for the overhead again. No punish from Samish. No confirm either. All right. Shoots the dark beam, gets a chunk of damage. And here we go. The patience is now very real. Hell sparks. Cowboy playing the game he likes to play. It's always like that zoning style. All right, that time reacts to the unblockable jumps. Meter burn it. Oh, the back dash intending to get away, but yeah, no dice. The back dash a little early. The invincibility frames wearing off as Cowboy pops the hell spark meter burn and secures that round. In the overhead, mm -hmm, right in time there. punish. Again, getting the corner for himself. I love this decision making. He's not autopiloting. He's paying attention to where he is on screen. Okay, anti-air. You will stop jumping on me, sir. Size right through. The delay. All right, uses the plus frames. Starter here for Cowboy. Just wants the other side. In the back dash. Oh, the whiff. No punish. Nope. No punish. And he has some each condition, expecting the meter burn as he's sitting on three bars of meter and spins one for the EX scoop. But Cowboy dropping his EX scoop combos. Very important backdash timing, but just like that, Samij gets it. That's really unlike him. He's, I don't know if he's, you know, intimidated by the character or whatever it is, because Cowboy is a man who's been here. And Samij breaks after Cowboy spins the bar, smart stuff. Mm, look for the back dash. Coming in, no confirm. And just backing off the attention for Guan Cowboy, but Samish not letting it happen. I love this in and out style. Yeah, and this is just solid stuff from Samish. All the way into the corner now. Not forcing anything in an anti air of his own. Not rushing anything. And that's a good jump kick to blow up with down two, too. I mean, Samish's back is to the corner. Hey, confirm this time. 
Yes, And bars. all he did was block, sit, and approach inch by inch. Just not being scared at all. No panic, and that's going to be a punish on the low side. Overhead. There's the block. Did you see him stand up just in time? Just in time. 2-0. Merkin Samiz. I mean, Cowboy is very much in there, sure. but it's clear that Samish is controlling the tempo. Yeah, for, for Wound's side, I like him going for something like the EX scoop right there. He needs to start doing things that are a little bit unconventional, that are going to catch somebody like Samish off guard. I mean, you can see Samish doing such a good job of either outranging or being in. He's this big mid-range where he has been playing so patiently. And a nice back dash, trying to stay out of the range of the back one, too. Wild Cowboy doesn't have any bar, shooting a couple dark beams, trying to gain a meter for the meter burn hail sparks. Oh, got it now, but no need there. Oh. Well, a little too late. Hard to, hard to have seen that. Yeah, recovers just in time. That yeah. could have been big trouble. Okay, wake up sparks. Yeah, wake no up. No meter. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, no breaker. Makes sense. All the way in there. Looking for the confirm. A lot of little bit of chip there. Cowboy back to a safer spot. Mm, the trade. There's the meter man this time. Too far. Can Cowboy get anything? No. Yeah, spins the bar for the armor and the invincibility. So he's wanting nothing to do with the corner. Here comes Cowboy though. Into what? Restand. The grab. All right, slap, slam. Will he pressure? He does. Goes for the unsafe stuff, and he didn't have two bars to break. He just went for it. Yeah, Cowboy taking a lot of chances. Jump in. Jump over and gets the yes! conversion. And so the combo was over. I, I don't know about the break. Does but he have enough? This is going to be guaranteed pressure. No! But the combo. The grab. That's going to do it. Wow. Match points and me. Wow. Hmm. And this is a bad start for Cowboy, too. Sure, two bars, but in the corner. What a delay as he came in. The run up for even longer than it seemed like he should have, but that's why it worked. Especially if you look over time in this set, Cowboy has done a lot of the back three overheads. I think Samish is actually looking for the punish, and after a certain amount of time, you know, bring his fuzzy guard up, and Cowboy taking advantage, super delayed low, working in his favor. Samish still in there, though. Yep, makes it positive. Here comes Cowboy. There Has a bar. Shimmy into the low. This won't be enough to kill, but he'll get the restand. Yeah, if he can get the right mix up. Oh, the back dash. And the jump back kick doesn't have the range for the air to air combo. Oh, he, what a timing on it. Just as the ball was coming out. The punish is it there? Is that this enough? Is, this is going to be death. Oh. Well, Cowboy sent home 3 0. Samij getting the job done. Cowboy with that patented head shake. He doesn't like it. Yeah. I wonder if White Boy is going to come back in and escort him out the ring. <laughs> I wonder. I mean, he needs some help right now, that's for sure. Just give him a shoulder at least. Give him something to cry on. <laughs> but that was a really, really great set from Samij. The, the, he had everything. I love the decision making. Just right at the very start, first round, punished the overhead. Yes. Had the combo that left him in the corner. Had the patience to wait for EX Scoop. All those things like set the tone immediately. Yeah, and it was a common theme throughout. You didn't yeah. see much back and forth. Cowboy got some rounds in, had some good moments, but at the end of the day, Samij just calm. Yeah, and for somebody his age, that's really remarkable. Also remarkable are the savings that you can get at ArcadeShock.com with code CEO15 for the 15% off on buttons and the likes, 10% off on controllers, CEO10. And once again, Avid Gaming coming through with the production. You've seen it at Combo Breaker. You've seen it here. These guys are new. They're for real, and they're going to be around. Cash prizes on the way. Please stay tuned. And again, Anakin the God giving up his Combo Breaker win to compete as CEO, and he wins again. He did it again? Again. That's the second time already. Yes. Genius. Ridiculous. Oh, man. I have some of these myself. Controller Chaos. I love what they do. They make these kinds of controllers with really interesting designs. These are cool, the CEO ones, if that's what you like. But check it out at controllerchaos.com because there's a whole bunch of stuff. And it's not going to rub off. No. Believe me, I've been playing the crap out of my Pokemon controller I got. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. And, man, the great folks, good is not enough when you explain gaming generations. These guys hit the road.
bring in all the equipment. They have fantastic staff and fantastic work. Thanks also to Hori, which you can find at HoriUSA.com or HoriUSA Inc. down at the sites on the bottom right. If you like weight in your joysticks, I highly recommend checking out the Vulixes. If you like the complete opposite, they have that too with the little guy up there. And Arca Paradise Arcade Shop is where you can find some more Hori stuff as well as some buttons, some Brooks converters, some uh, interesting PCBs. I myself am making a new joystick and this is something I'm going to look at. Yeah, oh man, retro game treasure. Look at that box of games. All godlike. Those are, that's a good set. That's a good set. Uh, I never played Genesis. Were you Genesis boy or were you Super Nintendo boy? Super Nintendo. Thank you. Yes. Now, Super Nintendo. Almost as super as this Vertigear seat. I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. This makes me feel like I don't need to play anymore. And I can just commentate if I can sit in this chair the whole time. <laughs> you found out why I do it. <laughs> Rec Room Masters, you know, actually, James and I at Ultra 10 Studios have one of these things, and we really, really like it. Uh, you can check it out at their site. They build all sorts of nice stuff for you. If you want to have something that you can play on and not just be sitting with your stick on your lap, if you'd like to have a setup, I recommend it. It's super cool. We've played there a bunch. It's really enjoyable. Let's do something about this. We don't know, but I feel like we need to have the discussion. Press one in the chat if you're with Genesis. Two for Super Nintendo boys. I need to know. Come on. Okay. You think this is going to be a contest? It shouldn't. I want to see MASH 2. It's not going to be a contest, I'm sure. Unless somebody, unless the two Genesis fans out there make a bunch of secret accounts right now, unless you make a bunch of duplicates, that is going to be a straight two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, some of those folks with the ones trying to type all sorts of ones in there. Listen, I, know, I see you. I, I know see you, you feel like, you know, Sega does with Nintendo. Well, you know what Nintendo does? They stay alive and make hardware. Granted, you know, the Wii U may not be, you know, the highest selling thing. I'll tell they're you. They're still around. I can, can I tell you this? With the exception of MK, 100% of my gaming nowadays is either PC or Wii U. Fact. I bought my Wii U for Mario Kart 8 because I'm a god. And then I end up buying like 20 games for it. That system is sick, man. Are we going to see Goro? No way. I would really like it. I love Goro. And I think he's a little underrated. But hey, Leatherface too. No, we're not going to see any of that stuff. We're just messing around. This is going to be Slayer versus Scar. We're in loser's side. Other side of losers will be Dragon and Samid. So we will get that 17-year-old battle. And keep in mind. Winners, finals, is Sonic Fox and Foxy Grandpa. What a better two can there be? All right. How did this turn out over here? Is it, we're all twos? Yeah, some, some, yeah. somebody posted pie. Yeah. yeah. Of course. My neighbor had a, had a Genesis, so I went over there. Yeah. But uh, My cousin had it. That was that's it. That's all my, yeah, that's, that was it. All right. We're going to use the mains. Kung Jin, Shaolin, Demolition Sonya. So the new wave special forces against the general herself, the woman who's appeared since MK1, original OG, the original top tier, the best in MK1, Sonya going up against one of the best characters in the new game. Will Scar teach the young Slayer how it's done? Wow, wow what a crazy neutral yeah, choice. And no punish. Right, oh, but right back into it is Scar. Reloads. Pressure, trying to make it happen. I love the backdash by oh. Slayer. Not a confirm though, surprising. And runs into the dive kick. We usually see Slayer hitting people with the errant dive kicks. Taste of his own medicine, 35%. And there it is, it's there, yep. And I love the patience too by Scar to make that happen. This is, oh, he, okay. Probably could've killed, but he wanted to reload. Exactly, Scar, where the grenades are more important even than winning rounds, right, yeah. he definitely could've like, killed. In that situation, I don't know, man. I think that's a little questionable, but. Right now, Slayer has the corner. He can make it happen. The oh down two! Oh my god! What a read! Denied! In the utmost way! And Slowly both, moving. Yeah, whipping, whipping some jump normals okay, down into the there. back three. Oh, what a follow up! Star with a couple of bars. Gets the reload combo. It's gonna spin more. Yeah, all the way into the corner too, and taking control. What an anti-air! He, what a read! Slayer's gonna have to look at when he goes into the air, much like his set against King. Oh, that was slick. Empty jump, empty jump into the low. 
get the connection. Scar has X-ray. Okay. Right back into it. Didn't even want to see what it looked like. Yeah, we there it is. <laughs> the entire animation on the grenade exploding, exploding didn't even come yeah, up yet. It, didn't even it was just a flash. Yeah. <laughs> did he go to select? Yeah. Yes, he did. Okay, what's the choice here? Slayer definitely has a plethora of c characters. Sure, it's been a while since I've seen him play non Shaolin Kung. Okay. Yeah, but he's gonna just take his time, you Switch know, stage. get a quick breather, and um, you so know, reset. Oh, some no, actually, it's reset some of that momentum yeah. from the last game. All right, see if he can do any better. See if he can think about it a little bit. Looking for preemptive air to air, but got in there anyway. Jumping right over, trying to make things happen. Oh, he that yep. was beautiful evasion in the ex dive kick, having that second hit as an overhead, extended hitbox, catches scar trying to jump away. Such a sick combo. I feel like I want to dance along with it every time I see it. Wow, what a call out, but. <laughs> Nothing there. All right, and some zoning. One grenade left. You can see it on her leg. Scar electing to stay out. Three grenades. But now that he has the grenades, it's business time. Down one into what? Delayed low. Keeping it up. And catches the counter poke. EX low chakra. Ooh. Drops the combo in the wake and bake. And just enough range on that jump. One. Chailing into the overhead. Slayer guessing wrong. Full range, running up one. Okay, yeah, there's the ant arrow. Such a good yeah, starter. Great challenge from Slayer. Sonya just jumping away. Wow, comes in with a dive kick. Second time. It's she's tried it. First time it hit. Oh, overhead. overhead low. Optimal. All the way in. Wow. Ooh. Shout out to the huge hitboxes. That was lovely. Oh wow, it beats the wake and bake. I like the read on Slayer's side, but just didn't didn't quite get there. Oh, and the jump kick, dive kick. Not sure if he dropped the confirm or if he was looking for oh, something else. That would have been so sick. A chance again though for Scar. Will he go for damage? He has no grenades and wow. he didn't get and any Slayer grenades. Wakes up, doesn't give him the chance to even get the EX uh bombs Slayer out. Slayer can do this. Oh, the down two again. No grenades were there, but Scar battled back and that's just pure confidence scar when sonya players have you at low health situations they love to ex arc kick yeah or get the grenades out scar realized that he couldn't as slayer was rushing in all on him waited for the opportunity and simply got the down two which is one of the best down twos in the game yeah. it moves her hurt box down so low that if you were anywhere near her feet, then you just got hit. Ooh, tried the counter poke. It was not the right time for Slayer. And as a result, he's in the corner. The overhead starts again. All of these, all of these. Six grenades in the combo. The re Two. No, he doesn't even need to reload yet. There it is. Wow. What a round by Scar. Mix. That's the snowball of Demo Sonya. All right, gets the shotgun, but not enough hit advantage to connect a jump in attack. Gets the reversal throw into the corner. Ah, okay, interesting choice. The grab, now and it's Slayer gonna be- Slayer has been the best with that. Delaying his wake up, short delay, to avoid meaty hits and poke in between them. That saved him from a lot of situations. Again, that fast back throw. Air to air, nice read by Slayer. Still has pressure. The grab this time is tech. Scar trying it as well. Ooh, and a fantastic dunk. Dive kick, exit, denied. Slayer back in control and catches the overhead. Big start. Solid 23%. Baits the wake and bake. Gets the meaty jump back into another full combo. Scar is down half his life in 10 <gasps> seconds. Oh, got it! Got it! That's so weird. It always looks weird to me. Yeah. A year later, it all, I'm always surprised but and scar only has one grenade look at this so he only gets 47 right, percent only. right what a punish on the dive here comes slayer into the corner has oh that's enough actually okay all right one game at least for slayer not going out without a fight i love that just as short as we've seen scar dominate him in the corner of that first round slayer bringing it back tippy tip right there no panic no worries 
Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, run out? Okay, we're reading each other now. Scar is having none of it. Oh yeah! It looked like he was trying to block. I don't know what happened there. Alright, great conversion. And Scar meeting Slayer in the air. You do not have enough advance to jump over me for free. Yeah, his own neutral jump punch paid off. The wow. grenade interrupting things. And the neutral stopper is coming in handy once again. Alexa spin the bar. Oh, and just okay. catching the end of the back dash. Slayer, tournament health on the line. Slayer now, pressure. The jump out. That didn't work last game. This time it does. Scar trying to whiff punish something. No dice. Oh, there you go. And the whiff air attack. Into the EX dive kick. And Scar reversing with an EX move of its own. And just barely enough time for the reload. Oh! Great patience by Scar. Can yeah, you get in there? Yeah, he's there in time. Alright, into the knockdown. What's it gonna be? The low start and no break. Scar, yeah, there it is. Great whiff punish on the dive kick. Pretty sure Slayer knows his distances and his damage. That would have chipped out. Slayer not ready to go, not yet. Reversal throw into the corner. Has the fetus in front of him. What's it going to be? Mm. Corner pressure now. Scar fully stocked on the X-ray if he needs it. He's already shown he brings it out. Other side. And Match point for him still. Scar counter pokes with the grenade toss. How smart is that? Oh, yeah. And a hit. Amazing. Here comes Scar now. Ready to go. Yes, there's one. There's two. The reload. In there again, the meaty. Yep. That's, is that it? Anything's gonna do it, no, the back ash. Oh, the and jump it. back one. Great reaction right there, because you know Slayer was gonna cancel into the EX dive kick. Scar only needing one hit. Waited for Slayer to take the sky. Instant jump back one, and Scar moves on. If you need a far range jump back button, doesn't get much better than that choice from Sonya right there. That button has some of the better horizontal rage in the game. Absolutely. Especially in that air-to-air -air situation. Perfect choice. And I think we would have saw double air cancel. Yeah, you're probably right. Had Slayer canceled into the dive kick, if it Scar was going to cancel into so his, too. looking yeah. for a trade, anything, to kill that last sliver of health and Slayer's tournament life. That's it. He made it pretty deep, but he's out of here now. And Scar, one of the people we mentioned as being tops in, in the world right now, has yes. continued to play. So we have, if you want to see the bracket, you can do so at uh, smash.gg. Click on CEO, then click on Mortal Kombat. And winner's finals still waiting are Sonic Fox and Foxy Grandpa. Ah, here it is. Loser side, we just saw Scar versus Slayer. We know how that turned out. And on the other side is going to be Dragon versus Samij. As you said, they're both 17. Yes. Two of the youngest people to have competitive success in fighting games of late. And part of that big set of NRS players who- The purge has to come to an end. We are going to use this year's purge to do something about that senator. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Justice for all. The Purge election year. Rated R. I love seeing that. It's something that every scene goes through at different periods of time. Can we talk about how Samiz looks like he's 30? I'm kind of jealous. Yeah? He has the full everything. He's just like, hey... He looked like he just got off of work and just came to the tournament. Yo, man, I've had the beard since I was 13 years old. I showed up day one of freshman year of high school. I thought I was the sickest guy in the world because I showed up with a goatee and these sick chops, these <laughs> thick old chop sideburns. And my friends were like, what? How'd that happen? I didn't get a speck of facial hair until like senior year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the baby face. Hey, but you can do the mustache. I yeah, never, I, can. I can't do it. Like, I have a mustache, but you can't see it because it's blonde in the first place and it's crappier than the rest of my beard anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so even when I grow it out, it's these little blonde hairs. It's the only part of my hair that's still blonde. Oh, man. All right. So we'll see Alien. We'll see, I think, Melina again. For yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure, Melina. So it's a, it's a match that we saw already. It's the match that Dragon lost to against Foxy Grandpa on winner's side. 3-0. Of course, Foxy 
you know, his Melina, real it's tough to beat. The it, best. Yeah, it's it's the best. But the way that Stamich played versus Wang Cowboy, I can see him doing damage here too. Absolutely. Dragon gonna stay with his tried and true Tarkatan. He likes the Wreckers. He does. As he was made famous for them with a previous combat pack character who kind of plagued us last year. Was uh, at CEO, was yep. showed up pretty heavily. She was a yellow Adenian who name will not be spoken at this event but he does like that style he has you know he with both characters he has the record pressure and he had the mid-range options and that's what i'm talking about being a godfather of the scene do you see how quick that button check was that was good right i sat all of those dudes down before and i was like yo no stop it good we don't need hand warmers get in there exactly if i'm playing against somebody and i see that they want a long button check no yep. you don't get that. All right, and blocks the overhead tail flip. Dragon trying to mix immediately to set the tone. Samish with the punish into the restand. Ah, okay. It's not just going for size there. Not just going for back one too, I should say. The delay, the wait. Both players. Yeah, nice trade there. Those little freezes. You learn so much about your opponent during those little freezes. Who moves first? What do they press? Oh man, full combo into the pounce. Will Samish wake up? No. Delay. And a double down one. And Again, the freeze. The next set of records will chip him out. Yeah, yeah I was going to say EX armor for sure. And Dragon wanting nothing to do with clutch situations. We saw him blow a 95% life lead against Foxy. Spins the meter immediately. Gets the chip damage and ends that trouble situation. Pressure again from him. Oh, interrupted. Anything here from Samij? No. Can he finally get out of this? You know, he's interrupted nicely. Ah, the grab. Switches situations. Will he pressure? Goes back. Hit and run style. Still in there. Chasing down is the intention. All right. Catches her. Into the records. Spins the meter. He always does. And the juggle was a little too much. He needed to cut that combo a little short. Whiffing the tail flip. But still very much in control. So he's forced to break. Patient approach by Dragon. I love the Bulldog. And just out of range. Wagging that tail about half screen. Oh, man. And with the sweep, Samish was looking for a roll. And a great whiff punish. Full combo. Dragon taking game one. I really like the approach from him. It was just a slow Bulldog. He was blocking size. In case there was craziness with the teleport, he would have blocked. He went for that, for that tail, uh, uh, the swipe. But who cares if you whiff? Are you going to get punished on your hurt box there? Yeah. Is that gonna happen? No. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, sticking with Melina. Change, uh, stage change, going back to Quan Chi Fortress. You know, I still wonder what this abomination is in the middle of the stage that's like being conjured up yeah. by Quan Chi. Some of us are hoping for a resurrected Shao Kahn, but who knows? All right, mixes. Goes for the dangerously, dangerous low side. Oh, mm. wow. And that has to suck. You just spent the meter, yeah. got hit out of it, and now you got corner combo. Yikes, for 36 into the corner. Again, those little delays. They've been pretty neutral. Neither party has really come out consistently on top. Oh, man, it's me He's missing the roll yet again. There's the, the tail just coming in. Why not? No bar on Samija's side. This is going to be the round. And that's going to be the round. Dragon, this is this is another day at the office. Playing really solid. Doesn't have to take any chances. But he tries to anti-air Molina. Oh. Jumping out. Yes, lovely anti-air. And tried to get it. I like the idea. Not quite. All right, mix. Overhead tail flip into the records. What's it going to be? Samish caught trying to option select in between and doesn't watch his head. Splat right on the top of his crown into the full combo. No breaker. It's there. Especially if he gets hit again. Okay, raw roll. Yeah, I mean, why not? You had yep. breaker anyway, right? Punish. Oh! -ho! And goes for the mix himself. Standing two into the EX roll. Whatever it takes. That's overhead. Yeah, I wonder if that's something he's going to bring out more. There's just been such safety on Dragon's side. Well, for the most part, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the red guy's coming out of that lake now. 
corner pressure. Into what? He's been mixing up pretty well. Just safe stuff. Yep. There it is. Rolls through. Yeah. Dragon breaks and goes right back into the record. E. That caught Dragon a bunch of times against Foxy Grandpa. That jumped just like that. Overhead oh, has two bars though, yes. And still point of control. Nice throw attempt. Oh no. And Dragon wakes up. No meter. Oh. Mm, the neutral duck. Really? He gets the crossover jump kick. Dragon's just trying to go. Oh, the oh. range. Please. Here comes Dragon now. Please. Conceal it if he can. Please. Yes, and he does exactly that. Oh, into the brutality. Hey. Give me a kiss. Well, that's not the type of kiss I was expecting, but Molina has to hold that. Dragon up two games now. Focused. I feel like that's the same kind of kiss that Molina might give people if she could do that. Well, her kiss is a little more... Uh, it's a little, you know, same kind of idea, right? That's true. Alien being straightforward, doesn't want to play about it. Molina yeah. kind of, you know, drags it out a bit. You're right, yeah. <laughs> it's her thing. All right, so Meech getting a little bit of advice. There has just been such safety on Dragon's side. Oh, wow. And when Samich succeeded in the last game, I thought part of it was because of the risky stuff. Of course, there was a block later on, but that's part of why he was able to take a round. Yep, and there we go, starting with the low size. More risk. Whiff punish. Oh, into nothing. Tried to get down one, no. A lot of individual hits. Interruption now from Dragon, and he gets to play. Confirm. Ah, right through. Why not? I Why don't know. not? I don't know. You want to escape the corner. You know, Dragon has low health. He's going to be a little more anti and not too offensive. And two bars anyway for the breaker just yeah. in case things went wrong. And that's something that's so great. When he gets that NJP, that's a tight combo to run under and get the up tail to send him back the other way. Grab right into the corner now. Meech a couple of times has had that. The backing off? Oh, nice! Blowing up the armor. And there's a breaker from Dragon. That was going to so be no an meter. entire grip of damage. It was. Dragon wanting nothing to do with it. Slow bulldogging from Dragon. He knows that all he needs to do is get in half screen. And at that point, he's already a threat. Yep. There's not nearly as much bulldogging for him as for other characters. Yeah, and Samich here. He's trading a lot of pokes, and he likes to get his combo string started. I'd like to see more throws. But gets the air-to-air -air combo. A little too early on the back one, too, so the roll goes right under. But Samiz is going to get on the board and take the game. I thought he started that off beautifully. Like, that, that for the first round of that game was already in him establishing, yeah, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Some different options this time. Punish here. And Dragon now taking the role of the risque player. Yeah, I wonder if that's a, if that's a response to the way Samiz played in that last game. Yeah, because now Samiz is rolling. There's the throw. Back one, two into the low side. Oh. The delay. Anti-air. Out of the air. Five, six. Hey. Beautiful. Is that the round? That is the round. Yo. Back one, two. Again, the risky stuff. Oh, there man. it is. Yes. All the risks are working. Why not throw? It's such a good response to how Dragon won the first two games. Oh, and Samiz is working on a flawless. This adaptation, this he is, got it! And this is gonna be the game? Yes, how about that? Oh Play my out. god! Oh, I just wanna see the ball. Two, two, just like that. I mean, just a minute ago, we were talking about how Dragon's in control. Yeah. And, you know, he was unfazed. He, he took what he learned from the Foxy matchup, and what do you know? Well, he's gonna have to make the, his own adaptation now. There definitely is an intentionally risky style that's come out of Samiz that we didn't see in the first two games. Like we were saying, there was so much safety from Dragon, he could just safely bulldog, be a threat at mid-range, that's fine, it worked out for him. But now he has to play defensively, and Melina has these styles, right? You can play her as a footsie character, or Absolutely. as people did when the game first came out. You can play crazy. her for the crazy 50-50s if you want. They're in there, they're not great, but you can take that risk. All right, and here we go, decisive game five. Oh, oh. boy. All right, gets the throw. Oh. Ooh, and another throw. At 24%, that fast, that's as good as a combo. I feel like Dragon's a little bit desperate. I really want to see him settle a bit. Maybe this is a chance. See what he gets for the meaty. 
delayed wake up, so we saw it. Oh, the grab, the back grab. <laughs> and Sapiz blocked the mix. That was the first time getting off the full back one, uh, forward one, excuse me. Built a bar, not gonna use it here. All right, so to keep him standing. Lovely back dash. The and he definitely is trying to, to counter the riskiness with his own. I don't know if that was necessary at all. Bad decision. I'm, to I'm totally with you. Terrible decision. I think when Dragon succeeds, it's not with that. It's with this patient play, getting in there. He has a game plan. And if he Samish, has mid-range. If Samish takes out Dragon, that's a huge mark. That's going to see him to auto super threat status, taking out one of the top guys on the planet right now, coming down from a 2-0 in the loser's bracket. Stop it. Oh, he was so worried there. All right. Gotta see Dragon settle. No, oh, right through the hole is Samish. And Dragon's not going to get the breaker in time. The guaranteed pressure here. Bad oh. look for Dragon. The tech at least. And a throw again. And into the corner too. Samish 20% away. 12% away. Two. He read the grab. And oh. the grab again was red. Here comes Dragon. Can he make anything happen? Tries oh, to go. He's not going to get it. And Samish is going to make the comeback. Down 2-0. It happens again. Dragon eliminated. Florida still alive as he gets the hug from his Tampa brethren. Mr. A-OK -okay, Ryan. Young. Wow. How about that? What a comeback. And he managed to convince Dragon to start doing things that are not Dragon's game as the Florida boys raise the sign. You know, as somebody who's, look, they're both 17, they're both young, but I have been very impressed by Dragon over the last year plus. Yes, of absolutely. him just being a very, it's like he has sort of an older mindset. Of, he does. Uh, there's a lot of patience, there's a lot of slow approach, and in that game, those last two games, I feel like that, that left him. Like he started just getting harassed. Uh, a little bit worried. There was more jumping in with the with the overhead flip yeah. in an unfortunate situation. There was more EX overhead flips. He tried the same mix up twice back to back forward one overhead flip. Yeah. There's no reason to even block low at that point in the string. So to think that Samiz was preemptively expecting a tail, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, that did not look like the top level, but that's I think partly due to Samij, because yes. Samij started this different play style that I feel like Dragon thought he had to respond to. Mm -hmm. Also, ending the uh, fourth game with a flawless, yeah, that does things to you. And then Dragon immediately restart. Maybe he won't take some time at the character select screen. It was a good idea, but he just didn't take enough. You know, it's you have to play. And he didn't get that counter adaptation. Or really, I think is what it was, is that he didn't, he felt like he had to get off of his own game. All right. And that became a problem for him. So we're going to move to winner's finals. Sonic Fox and a Foxy Grandpa. Number one, number two. No question. On Earth. No question. It's just been such a great thing with MKX and the support the game's received and everything with all the exposure that the internationals were actually able to travel more. Foxy Grandpa, who, who's been around since MK9 days, didn't get to come over to the States as much to really get to, you yeah. know, prove or, you know, solidify the claim that the top guys in the EU were just as good as anywhere else. He came to EVO for MK9, and I think he did well. I thought he was yeah. like top 13, some, it was somewhere around there, yeah. but that wasn't what he can do now. I mean, and he himself yeah. has gotten better over the years, too. Yeah, he was second at EVO last year. Yeah. He came to this guy. He came to SCR, won SCR. Came to combo breaker, one combo breaker. And I mean, this is, is what it is. While uh, no I, one is unbeatable, these two are. This is where the money goes. The money goes through these guys. Sure. No matter what. For, for Sonic Fox, combo breaker was not his apex, right? He got fourth, I think, which for him is kind of underwhelming. But I talked with him afterward. I said, hey, have you been playing this game like that? He said, not really. But don't worry about me. I'm going to play the next two weeks. I'll be ready for ESL. Yeah. Sure enough, he played two weeks, and he, guess what? He's the best again. I mean, when you call Sonic Fox washed up because he got four, fourth, yeah. fourth is the lowest place he's ever gotten in any tournament. Yeah. It's like unreasonable standard, but that's his <laughs> standard. So Sonic Fox with the Acidic Alien, yeah. BXP Foxy G. <laughs> Foxy yeah. G, okay. So weird. I don't, yeah. uh, Foxy Grandpa uh, from the UK. Piercing Molina. Into the corner already. All right, restand. 
gets the throw already. Back into the corner as well. Oh! Wow, and that hit, I wasn't expecting that too. But maybe Sonic knows something that we don't. That seems pretty likely. Yay. Round, not quite. Yeah, that's he's got to try to get something. Yeah, it's just a tough look. Yeah, either way it goes, those ticks were going to take him down. Yeah. Sonic would just constantly put out acid puddles and stand in them. Okay, harassment from Sonic Fox, trying to push. And opens him up, gets the acid out. Fox, yeah, I was just going to say, he has three bars, and when he does, he tends to like taking risks. And that was the risk, and it paid off. You know, that's really smart. You know, he has the insurance policy to right. cover his bad decisions. Yeah, breaker if something goes wrong. All right, telekick into the side, plus frames. Safe stuff. And Sonic mixing up. Yep, Throw there's the overhead. overhead. Oh, X-ray wake up. Oh, and no. Punished. Block and punished. Yeah, that's it. And his own. Why not? Why not? Why not? Ridiculous. I've always been impressed by Sonic Fox's knowledge and, and the quickness that he gets the knowledge with. Quite a start, quite a risk. But yeah, I find that he, he is so fast at learning things. Not just uh, uh, how the games play, but at adapting to the human opponent, figuring out new things to do. He does it on the fly as well as in training mode. Yeah, Foxy caught trying to press a button there again after negative frames. Sonic Fox getting that forward one, advancing mid, one of the best in the game. And just constantly filling the screen with acid. One unfortunate thing for Foxy is that he's had these back one twos and he just hasn't confirmed them. It's tough. I'm not Absolutely. gonna tell you it's easy, but I, you know the lack of that is hurting him right now. Well, he takes that round, throws, chip, waiting for the opening. All of that damage adds up, and no one knows that better than Foxy Grandpa. He's not in a rush as long as he can get the victory. This is exactly what he wants now. Full meter, both sides. Oh, tried to both get it there. EX, he has breaker, yep. And there it goes, all three of those bars, just like that. Okay, Foxy. Right, confirms this time into the X-ray, and that is gonna be close to death, Yeah, this actually. does, the last hit always to, does more than I think yeah, it's gonna it's do. Yeah, it's gonna kill if, I, if I'm, whew, magic, pixel. Anything. Great jump. Oh! Oh, what piece? I feel like he's oh getting crazy. God. I feel there it is. Yeah. The delay. Short delay. Yeah. Taking a huge advantage. Alright, trades it. Acid. Takes the throw. More acid. Tick, tick, tick. Even on block, tick. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, thing there, Graham. Yeah, look at this. You can really see the strength here when somebody has mid-range control like this and you really see that acid stack up. Yeah. Sonic, looking good in the mid-range right now. It's not even a pressure game for him at the moment. And a raw overhead flip. That's the business because he doesn't have the, the overhead starter from that far. Oh, okay. Didn't have two bars, but he did take the risk this time. Foxy now has the corner. Will he pressure? And Grab the reversal text. throw. On point, oh, it armors his armor. No, oh. a drop. Oh, and Sonic Fox took it. Wow. You see, if you're at home and you're watching, understand that even the best of the best can drop a combo in a clutch situation. Sonic Fox taking advantage. Foxy has to be kicking itself for that one. Starting Sonic Fox. Nice tech. And the recovery in time. I'm pretty sure Foxy has teched like 80 throws in a row. Yeah, he's great at it. Alright, and here we go. Sonic Fox tried to get the throw in. Beautiful whiff punish, but again, drops the combo. Hmm, and then the grab. There was only one hit from Foxy, and I guess that's what Sonic Fox expected. Now he's going to try his luck up close. Alright, and now Foxy has been thrown two times in a row. X-ray available or roll into breaker. Oh, the down two was enough. Yeah, fourteen percent. Yeah, I was just gonna say, what a good choice. That was biggest damage normal, I think, for the yes. character, if I recall correctly. And that's just the geni a genius way to do it. If there had been two hits there, that would have been broken. And that was instant. Sonic was looking for anything. He was waiting on the X-ray, but Foxy gave him the EX roll, 
No reason to block low at that point. And wow, Foxy's letting these rolls go. Corner pressure now. Let's try it again, why not? Now this is where Sonic Fox wants to be. Yeah, Breaker, but still in there. Oh, oh it went. And raw overhead tail flip into the ass. And again, the EX tick, tick, overhead. Tick, 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 tick. And just like that, Sonic Fox, you blinked your eyes, and Foxy was dead. Such acid. And an anti-air. Everything to keep Foxy Grandpa in the corner. A little bit of harassment there, but same for Sonic Fox. And down two again. Wow. And Sonic is challenging everything. Look at this range. Oh, okay. Right through with the X-Roll, finally. You know, up until the end of that combo, Foxy's health is still draining. That's it. What a finish. That last round, that last game, I felt, was super strong by Fox. Some of those reads, things he was expecting, where he was standing, the harassment in the corner, that was for a lot, a big part of it, just outside of the X range. Now we see Good Foxy stuff. shaking his head. Did Sonic send a message? Don't you think? I mean, Foxy is a guy who, he doesn't care about anything. I pull up to him on Saturday and I go, man, have you seen these pools? And he goes, oh, I, I, I don't look. He just shows up and back in the ring. So everybody's got their own strategy, right? You know, hey, you have to play Sonic Fox. Oh, that's nothing, KP. I just who knows whether he'll be unfazed or not. We'll have to find out because now he's gonna have to go through either Scar or Samiz can continue this. I'll call it a Cinderella run because no one was expecting it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. I mean, we talked about who was in his pool. There are two players in Hayate, especially, and, and also uh, yeah. Perfect Legend, who. A lot of people expect it to go far. They have just recently, just that combo breaker. Both yes. of them were top Eight. four, wouldn't they? PL got no. He, you know, you're right. He was seventh. That seventh, actually. Now I think about it. But yeah, they're, but they were both top eight. Uh, and and Hayate has been on a tear. So people thought he was going to go far, mm -hmm. and he did not. In part because of Samij. All right, now here we go again. Scar, the lone remaining non-alien, non-Molina player, the hero. Going up against the current pride of Florida as it changes as necessary. <laughs> yeah, I remember last year. Who was it? Was it Gross last year? I yeah. don't remember. Yeah. He was like the non Tanya. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and then he lost to Tanya. But hey, a lot of people did. Absolutely. I did too. So yeah, we'll, we'll see Sonya from him. He started off this top eight by playing against Sonic Fox. It was 3 2. It was very close. He, he beat. The alien, he lost to Gunslinger Aaron. Yeah. And then after that, got through Slayer. Now he's got to get through Samich here in Losers Semifinals. Trying to face Foxy Grandpa in Losers Finals. Listen to that. Hey, I'm trying to make Grand Finals of this tournament. I only have to beat Dragon Scar, Foxy Grandpa. Dude. It's a good list, no doubt. That title belt. This is probably the hardest path in the history of MPX so far for any of these guys. He, he's a quarter of the way through it, right? He already beat Dragon. He, yep. They just did that, and you cannot count him out against Scar. The way, it's not, not just that he beat Dragon, but the way that he convinced Dragon to not play Dragon style. That's hard to do. He's going to have to beat one, two, three, and four yep. to get that title belt. Yep, it's if a long road that, ahead. Expect the greatest pop off in Floridian history. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not even necessarily from him, right? Yeah. But the Florida scene itself. Oh, my God. Testing right. buttons. Yeah, it wants to jump off the interactable. I'm pretty sure dash forward seems like it works. All right, there you go. Okay. And here we go. See? They listen. Testing the thing, and it works, and then we go in. So, Demo Sonia, piercing Molina. No surprises there. And Samit is getting a lot of mileage off of that string into the low side. Just about everyone letting go of block. And they're more afraid of the EX overhead cartwheel, mm. so they're just eating the side. And Sumi's just taking advantage of it. Very nice stagger by Scar on the way in here. Using up the grenades. Will he reload? No. I mean, he has a couple, but typically he just reloads. Into the corner. Nice tech. Not quite there with the jump. Tried to interrupt. 
And you know what, Scar, even if he loses this round, the fact that he took those two bars is great for him. But he has a chance to take the round anyway. At the very least, he gets the stand switch. Oh! This may be death. Is he going to spin it? Yes, yes, he does. What it's a change. A yeah. Scar, never giving up. You know, his determination and his heart, you know, just as long as the parade on the back of Sonya. He's doing whatever it takes. Spinning the meter. Spinning the grenades. That, that first round is so important. Because you can build the meter back, yeah, you know, but you can never get the round right. or momentum. Yeah, so. right. The round, the round is what matters for sure. All right, again, Samish connecting with that low side. Scar insisting on the high block. You know, if you take a low side, it's all right. It's not as bad as taking the ex overhead. That's for sure. And I like that Scar tried to catch the back dash with the dive kick, but it recovered in time. Samish mm -hmm. doesn't get a huge punish, but Scar getting the safe reload. Oh, really? The second time he's tried it. This time, gonna get punished for the round. Final round fight. So starting the corner. Wow, what a read! And the jump from Samich put himself into that bad situation, unfortunately for him. Now, corner. Okay, armors through the gap. We haven't seen that. I don't know why, but Samich not letting Scar get away with that overhead. And that was definitely an unsafe reload. I really like this. Samich, so far in this top 8, has really shown that he has the punishes and he knows the, the gaps that you can get through. In a way that even the rest of the super top players haven't really been doing. So, bars are taken. Still in the corner. Trying to get away from it. The tech! Sonya slowly moving in. No down 2, no anti-air, but Scar... One resource is gone, but he still has one of the other ones. That Molina jump attack has such a fantastic vertical hitbox that it beats just about everything without meter. All right. There, he had one more. Yes, and he yep. waited for it properly. Yep, and Samiz bet it all on the read. Scar waiting patiently, baits out the wake up. Completes the combo. That's easy right there. Bread and butter. Boom, and it was boom, nice because he didn't do uh, a reload. You know, he got he got popped for the unsafe reload just a little bit before that. And he wasn't going to do it there. Smart play by Scar. Mixing it up well. All right, Samiz. Getting some pointers from the mystery coach from the heavens. Yeah, we can't see who it is. It's a very late low. This time, the low string doesn't work, though. In wow. the corner now. And that was a punish. Unsafe grenade toss. Third time, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is he's looking for in those situations. I don't know if Scar's trying to condition Samish to not like attempt to anti-air okay. because he keeps dive kicking. Okay. But whatever it is, uh, I don't think. Like, do you think he's looking for roll anti-air and he's trying to get over it? Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe Scar's, you know, a little too far ahead in his Yomi. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to establish the jumps first, but, you know, he is up on O. Yeah, and that dive kick basically cost him that round. He yeah. lost, you know, full. In the previous game, he lost a round because of the dive kick, too. All right. Checks him with the down three. And that is unsafe. Samiz on his P's and Q's, watching for any little gap that he can slide that roll in. All right. Grenades into it. Spins four. Drops one on the ground for Oki. Guess it's wrong. Finally, kits opened up. Saving the meter. Yep. For the safe reload. Down one to start it off. And then the jump out. But and same thing for Scar. Yeah, reverse jump out. Hold on, sir. I'm not going to let you walk away for free. I'm going to do the same thing. He attempts to jump over. Works in his favor. Samiz's back is to the wall. Oh, the start with the overhead. And that was so nasty. He just ran in and dunked on him. Like, there was no setup. The grenade had already exploded. Right. I'm just going to run up raw. And you better guess right. To be fair, a lot of his starters have been with the low string. And again, it is. The last two. And adapting his string into the kick flip because he didn't have the grenades to continue the combo. Gets the save reload. Spins two immediately and runs back in. Scar, mm. a complete bully mm. going up two games to zero. Other than the dive kick, I like just about every decision that we're seeing out of Scar right now. Other than that, the pressure is there. Knowing when to come in is there. Knowing when to sort of wait patiently, all that stuff, we're seeing it. By the way, I just want to clarify, thanks to Mega Meister, uh, Perfect Legend got fifth at Combo Breaker. Yeah, and sorry about that, And that's how he got the, uh, yeah. the, the offline spot, spot for ESL. Yeah, I mixed it up because Cowboy needed yeah, to Cowboy. win, and by him losing in that position, PL got it at default because he was in winner's top eight and then yeah. lost boss. Sorry, Carl, hate me later.
or message me and tell me. I mean, he should be in the audience not listening to us right now, but you never know. I'm always surprised. Like, when I see people at an event and then I'm commentating and I know they can't hear me unless they're in their apartment or in their hotel room listening. Come on, guys. Oh, stay in the audience, please. I see people in the audience watching the stream. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. ridiculous. Okay. They get the instant replay that, you know, five right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like somebody going to a baseball game and you got the announcer in your ear on I'm, the radio, right? Yeah. Well, right now, you know, Samish has Scar in his head. And there you go. That's what he, I guess he's trying to condition him to whip something. I but guess it's just, I don't know. In, in any case, he's up 2 0, so you can't be too critical, I guess. But. Absolutely. Everything else is working. Oh, whips the combo, but recovers in time to not get punished. Chases down the back dash. Samiz went for the roll, got the down four. I, I want to see that adaptation from Samiz that we saw him do against Dragon. I want to see some some difference in the play style. And unfortunately, most of the set has been him getting dunked. We haven't really seen like what he wants to do. Yeah. What is his plan? Oh, and a nice punish on the energy ring. Reaction telekick and the Sonya Blade special. EX arc kick and low life situation. Pushing Samiz back to the corner. Tosses the Jesus juice at him. Mm. And opens oh, him up. Yeah, Looking man. for footsies. As a player, you hate when you see that opened up into nothing. You know, you go for a tick and then it hits. It's like, ah. Uh... Hard to be 100%. Now, I understand Scar jumping backwards with nothing. Maybe looking to whiff punish a sigh or something with dive kick. That makes more sense to me. Alright, plus frames. Tick. Jab into the reversal throw. He wants to in the corner. Yeah, he has to break. He is. Yeah, he's on the ropes. So at this point, you just can't get hit. All right, blocks. And a nice oh, okay. Yeah, sacrifices the damage for the reload. He now has three grenades. Any touch is gonna kill at this point. Using it to slowly, slowly get in. That's the goal. Chases him wow, down. That was like a flip Will he punish. Get, that was no, sick. Will he get the breaker in time? Yeah, got it there. All right, Samiz can survive. Oh, the neutral duck underneath. The EX! Is it gonna be enough? Oh boy, this he is needs guaranteed it guaranteed into the restand, but the He needs it! The side kills just enough damage. Samiz, is this happening again? Is it? Is it happening again? He already again? did it against one of the best players in the world. This Why can, not against another one? This can be the start of something special. The reload. Got hit, but no big deal. She'll take it. Absolutely. You got your three grenades back. Trade about 6% of your health. No problem. There it is. Yeah, it's the same kind of adaptation too. I feel Samij is now going for the more risky stuff. Yep. Right. I mean, he's he's bringing out more options than he was before, and that's how he won against Dragon. And the anti-air back into the corner positioning. Scar has access to an X-ray. Ah. Oh boy. Very active on wake up. Even yeah. as Samij, we're seeing a different player right now. Ooh! Oh! X-rays through the gap. Does Scar have all three grenades? Yes, he does. And this is going to be a corner combo. Oh, boy. Big damage incoming. Oh. Oh, this is oh for Oh, my Samid. God. This is trouble. Oh, my God. 67%. It's not enough. Percent. Oh. In dominating fashion, the pop-off. 67% from a small gap in a string. Eliminating Samiz in the most stylistic fashion we've seen so far. Wow. He was fully stocked in resources. And oh. We were just saying, look, this is the adaptation Samiz wants to make. He wants to be a little bit crazier. He wants to make some changes so that he can make things happen. But Scar, unlike Dragon, had the solution. <laughs> no comeback for you, man. That's it. So Florida's Again. gone. But hey, in pretty sick fashion. Why is my heart beating like I'm playing? <laughs> yeah, that no, I know what you mean. Dude. <laughs> that happens to me too. That hurt my feelings. It was godlike to watch. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Well, that's going to be it for Samij. Top three. Sonic Fox is in winners. In grand finals, I should say. And then oh losers my God. finals. Foxy, Grandpa, and Scar. Which one of them is going to play against Sonic Fox? We'll find out. If that isn't the ultimate hold that... Then I don't know any other way to say yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, man, I have won a pixel. <laughs> Literally anything I do is going to kill you. Right. Rip X ray. Yeah. 67% yeah. into meaty strength. Now you're dead. And lucky for Scar, he had all those grenades, right? It was it was one of those situations where the stars aligned, but 
even if they align, you got to do the thing. Yes. Right? You have to make it count. It's and not just that you have the resources. He definitely did the thing. Oh. Definitely. Definitely did the thing. Losers finals coming up now. Scar talking with Forwood, who did play a lot of MKX uh, when the game came out. Yes. Big Injustice player as well. Yeah, Forwood actually also accompanied Scar to ESL finals, taking the trip. Oh, that's nice. And we've seen him. Um, I've actually he ran into him online a couple of times. He plays. Yeah, and the first time I was like, wait, like Forwood, Forwood? No, like, at, he hasn't played it competitively in a while, but at the first Texas showdown with MKX, he got yeah. top eight. He was there. Yeah, he was. And I, I was really impressed. He had a sick Scorpion, actually. Yeah. I really like some of his stuff. And he stuff. was playing Ninjutsu back then. When yeah, like he was playing footsies really already. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when the game first came out, everybody was thought, oh, it's not a footsie game, it's 50 50s, whatever. He was one of the first players I saw who, who made that apparent that, it, that there's, it's footsies. It's a footsies yes. game. Footsies into mix ups, but the way you get the mix ups is the footsies. You know what? I'm still stuck on that Sonya thing. And just looking at her and the character select screen, that is the face of a champion. She is not playing around, she is not going to lay down. And Melina's just like, hey, man, look, I have these sides. And Sonya's like, you know what? Bring it. I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking out at the crowd on this big projector. Did you see what I just did? That is what that picture screams to me. One thing I love about Scar, too, is that he's not the kind of player who takes tech and makes it work. Yes. He is the kind of player that makes tech and makes it work. A lot of the things that, that we've seen Demo Sonya do now, not only is he the one doing them, He's the one who first did him. Yeah. He's the one who brought him out in the first place. And that to have that kind of combination, Sonic Fox is the same way. They're, they're inventive, but also top level in everything else. Okay, here we go. Headed to the Emperor's Courtyard. All right. I like the stage a lot. Go. It's really bright. Punch an interactable to jump off. You have an unblockable command grab interactable. It's actually one of my least favorite stages. <laughs> and the reason is that I hate the wheezing of the animal on the back. I just can't listen to it. I hate it. <laughs> Everything else is fine. But that, oh my god. It wheezes so terribly. Scar choosing not to pressure. Now he is. Yeah. Tried to roll. And you know what? I wonder if that actually is worth it for Foxy. Because he, he cost a grenade. And there was an alright trade. No real damage either way. That might be an interesting choice. Let's see if that comes up more often. I mean, fully I expect Foxy to have things that... Other people don't. I, he is he is a preventive player. Oh man, takes the roll. Have to break immediately. Okay, dash up grab wasn't quite a run, but you know, Scar wasn't able to react in time. Oh, hear that? Oh, make that noise back there. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna blame the wheezing of whatever you call that in the back. It triggered Scar to go for the time kick. <laughs> he, so, was, he was paying attention, and all of a sudden, that happened. Absolutely. No, that, that's really the only weird part of the game throughout this top eight. Everything else is fantastic, but I really feel like he's getting ahead of himself on the dive kicks. Again, the trade! I just think that's great! He takes some damage, Sony takes some damage, she loses a grenade, reset situation. Fair, sounds fair to me. That's, that's very smart. Okay, into the overhead. Cuts the combo extremely short. Nice confirm on the back one, too. Foxy Grandpa resetting things at mid screen. Oh, the whiff punish. That is one of the real strengths of Foxy. His footsies are almost unparalleled. And within five seconds, you have two 35% combos back to back. That is unblockable. And X ray? That's it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that would have made sense. I, I like. Is he changing? Oh, he's going to it. The way that Foxy dealt with. Grenades, I felt like I wouldn't be surprised to see Scar go with another variation here. But he's going to stick to it. We'll see if he has a solution to that roll as a solution to the grenade. Alright. Getting some down pokes in. The big boot from Scar. Overhead. Reload. Alright. Patience from Foxy. Oh, well. Oh, that was sick. Everything was hitting on there. Oh, man. And a whiff punish roll. Jumping over the low start. Scar now. Oh, had to reload. Unfortunate for him. He could have taken the round. Still can, of course. Wow, nice. That nice. was so slick. Using the invincibility from the interactable. Great execution and timing from Foxy. As the tide has now changed. Switch position. Scar back to the wall. And that was so smart. He knew he would get hit. 
but it doesn't matter. Once he presses the button, the grenades are coming out. Oh, nice. Just took up a good spot on screen. Overhead, oh, well, reload. And oh. what a whiff punish. Again, you know, whether it's from the air, from the ground, Fox's whiff punishes, I think, are some of the best. Okay, Bates the throw runs up into the forward one, catches him, and that was a 35% plus another 35. He just lost 70 in like two seconds. Yeah, and some chip right afterward, and then harassment, and that's a very quick round. Great thing about Melina, she can do all of this without meter, you know? And she builds meter so fast that it's always stocked for a breaker, or when she's ready to take that big risk, she usually has the materials on deck to just let it go. And she, she has the ability to take risks, right? She has those things. Bad. For just like that. All right, Scar inching his way in. Nice confirm on the back one, too. 35% the other way. Scar trying to run up a little bit, has X right now. And Foxy being very respectful of that X ray. Yeah, and a, a dive kick. It's, well, okay. Here comes Scar. There's no breaker. Cuts it short. Uses the EX in Well, that, you know what? It's not going to pay off. Uh, as soon as Scar hits this, and I haven't seen him drop it in a while. Ooh. And the brutality riles the crowd up. Salute. Thanks for coming. Scar tied it up at one game apiece. Do you understand the acceleration needed to rip the human legs like that it's very fast i mean she's been practicing it for at least 20 years so you're right she has some experience i wouldn't doubt sonya's skill at this point wow. oh and i mean way too far on the grenade but i like the idea looking for a roll probably yeah scar's not too concerned the stun grenade is most definitely one of the best trades in the game wasn't able to convert much from it but it's still at a big time advantage. Cute. Okay. And the reset on the grenades. And Foxy looking for the whiff. But Scar is the one who gets the whiff punish. Foxy really fishing for that. Ooh. Oh, this time. anti -air. No, not the rest. Okay. No start. Doesn't watch his legs. Has one more grenade. Drops the reload combo. But spins the bar of meter. Nice block. He got all the way. Going. And that Again. is going it's not quite, but it's hard to see how he's going to get away from this. Yeah. Nice to keep himself in the air, but yeah. then by doing that, you're just susceptible to the punish on the yeah. landing. And doing the side of that high makes the punish so much easier. Exactly. Yeah. Scar with the patience and the knowledge to spin all of his bars to secure that round. It's a common theme we've seen from a lot of these guys. Whatever it takes. Okay, it's a lot... Came in with it just to see what would happen. Nice movement. Wow. wow. It worked, but not the rest. And that was an unsafe reload. Getting punished. Now restood in the corner. A Foxy Grandpa has full meter. The risk could be coming very soon. Mm. Yeah, you never know when it's going to come, but he does like to do it. That's for sure. Well, he spent two. So less likely that he's going to come out with some crazy stuff. But he has corner anyway. Yep, and he missed that was He wanted to get out no matter what. He may have enough to make something happen. Three grenades. Overhead. Will he get the breaker in time? Just got it. Scar trying to take up some space. And there is Foxy. Clutch is the only way to describe that. Catch a Scar in his startup. Back one, two. And a nice confirm to start the final round off. 35%. Looking for it. That's much easier to confirm, but it was broken. All right, has the point. Use it. Safe reload. Overhead. Foxy cornered now. Might be in trouble. And the overhead has worked now three times in a row. Oh, it's a stun grenade. Oh, oh trying to poke out. It was not the right time, Breaker. How much meter has he spent on? Oh, breaker? and that was so slick. Rolled in time before the first frag grenade exploded him and carried him to the corner. Nice. And that is going to be Chip. Just enough. Foxy Grandpa up 2-1. to one. These guys slugging it out. Trading games. Did that seem like it was Scar's round? Like 80% of that round? I felt like it was Scar's round. And then all of a sudden, the switch. Snap of a finger. But I really do like how Foxy's dealing with the grenades. I love... Well, maybe not right there, but I like a lot of his choices to sort of trade in situations, to stay away in situations. 
and Foxy's been extremely high percentage on his hit confirms in this set. We saw him do a couple back one two rolls, you know, that didn't seem like confirms so they were bad ones. Yeah. But he's definitely turned that around in this set. Again, using that button, that grenade, as if it's a poke. And so much hits done on it. I love it. I love it. I just yeah. I think that's so smart. And Foxy definitely blocking overhead this time. Had enough, doesn't want to deal with it. Scar goes back to the overhead. Yes, he's looking for the roll, and that's exactly what Scar looked for, too. Yeah. That Perfect over timing on it, by the way. He's getting that meeting. so much mileage from that overhead. Five of the last six have hit. Mm -hmm, the blocking. Okay. Scar looking for any opportunity, any knockdown to get these grenades back out safely. What a whiff okay. punish. Until then, he cannot contest with Molina in the neutral. Yes, the start. Breaker. Yep, and that's going to be a punish. You see Foxy with the double dash because he knew Scar above all would go for the reload. Wow, okay. Kind of a call out there, but paid off. Gets on through. No punish, but you know what? It worked out for Scar. He has the corner. No meter on Foxy's side. And a nice confirm off of the back one staggers. And oh no, not not there. Scar still in there. Scar doesn't commit. Overhead. The throw. Not but the rest of Nick is he's in the corner. Gets it anyway. That sequence could have been over on so many different yeah, occasions. Yeah. Scar not expecting Foxy to get hit and then hits him five different times to finally get that game. Wake up grenade. Two to two. Losers finals. Very fitting. We we mentioned these players being some of the best. Absolutely. And, and they're, they're really living up to that, that's for sure. Counter Swap. adaptation after counter adaptation. All right, gets the 14% off. And a nice punish. That reload was not safe. Not safe either on that whiff. That's not very unfortunate for Foxy. Going to get most of the way to the corner, or will he get all the way there? No, not quite. He chooses to grenade instead. He tries to run in. Foxy. The drop! Ooh! Oh! Shout out to Sonya with the meterless wake up option when the grenades are there. She's kept the bar. And that kills. So Scar is not able to go for a follow up and get the side switch with the leg grab. But it doesn't matter. Scar in the driver's seat. Back one, two, roll. No confirm. Foxy is in trouble. Scar has all three grenades. Guess is right. And a nice. roll through. Very smartly timed. I think we can really see Foxy's done his homework on how to play against uh, Demo Sonya. And I think Scar's success is really showing how good of a player he is, considering all that work Fox has clearly done. Okay. Both feeling each other out. Ooh, that was ridiculous. That you see was, that punish? Yes, absolutely. Caught the limb out, extending the hurt box just enough to Breaker. get tagged by the back three. And Foxy has no meter. Bad look for him. He's just waiting to react to something if he can. This is going to be big trouble. Foxy has to hold all of this. And this is going to be... The delay! Is that going to be it? Maybe! And yes! He eliminates a Foxy Grandpa! America defends the turf, but Foxy a very, very respectable third place. One of the best players in the world, losing to another one of the best players in the world. And Scar advances to face the Fox. Now, I don't remember the tweet. It was somewhere. But Scar said he had a dinner date with a Fox who happens to have an alien friend, and he was going to meet him in that ring. Okay. Delivering on his promise, grand finals of appearance for Scar, but the tallest task any man could ever have. You have to reset the bracket against Sonic. He has to win one three out of five, and then he has to win another three out of five. And no. he, has, he has to do it against somebody who has so many different options, and by the way, who just beat him an hour ago, in winner semifinals, Scar went up 2-0 against Alien, and yeah. then we saw Gunslinger Aaron, and it was three straight for Sonic Fox. Now, Sonic Fox has been reset in a grand finals before, but he has never been reset and then beat. If Scar can pull this off, will he go Katana? Hmm. Will he try to get some space control stuff? What do you think about the matchup? The princess is here. Oh, maybe not. Will he just go right to Gunslinger? Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. It clearly worked for him last time. You might as well keep it up. Maybe if it doesn't, maybe if he loses the first set, maybe you think about something else. But 
having won three straight with this character in Winter Semis, why not? You know, I got my feelings up a little bit because I thought I was going to see Katana, but Sonic knows better. Oh my god, this, this skin is so sick! And Aaron Black, the outworld outlaw who simply mercenary style. He yep. does it for money. He doesn't care. Yep. Gets opened up by the neutral stoppers, which worked super effectively against the style of a Sonic Oh, right through, but not quite there. Just a kind of a weird whiff on the button. All right, jumps over. Plus you frames. respect it, yes. Command grab right in the middle there. All right. And I love when players start with tick throws. It puts you on edge immediately. You're already looking for it. Scar trying to jump out of that setup. Gets tagged. Nice right through. Yeah, had to. Well, I don't know if he had to do it, but I like that Scar sort of cost Sonic Box those two bars. Overhead. Gotta reload. No meter yet. That's probably gonna do. Can he hit the combo? Well, it's gonna be easy at that. I mean, yeah, what yeah. are you talking about? No, Some hard. of the best range on jump in normals. You think of Kotokan, you think of Alien, but Sonya's is just as yeah. good, if not better, of any of one of those. Yeah, hers is ridiculous. There's no doubt. All right, trading pokes. Oh, well, he gets hit anyway, so kind of cute. Oh my god! The dive kick put him into the gold! <laughs> no! so unfor unfortunate! Now he's in the corner. He's gonna eat. He calls himself two bars. And Sonic Fox is just making it rain. Money coin shots everywhere. Gets the slide for the hard knockdown. And it doesn't chip out. Huh. Well, it's, I was just gonna say, I wonder if almost if Scar gave up that round wanting to get the grenades. Yeah. I don't know. Because it's not a, not a safe situation, for sure. Who gets the down one, fakes the dive kick. Up guns, clap. 2-1-1-2-2 two, one, one, two, two, whiffing. The fist flurry, not connecting all hits. No command grab in there, yep. No, up right through. Yeah, I can't armor it at the beginning. Those revolver shots come out way too fast for the art kick. Speaking of that horizontal jump one range, geez. Yes. Huge. Oh, and tries to throw the hologram blanch. Not quite as effective as the real life would. Flesh over computerized. EX at just the right time. What and zoning? Absolutely. That was fantastic space control. Using all of the options from the standoff stance, we saw the two mid shots. We saw the up guns. We saw the low chip damage shots. Are we going to see Covert? I think that's what he switched to in this final, the final game of their last set. Yes, he did. For, I think, it was a thing about Scar, he likes Covert for the characters who it's hard for him to stay in. And here we go. Oh, Come yeah. Wow, a character we don't see as much. Hat trick is what Scar specializes in. Will he pull it out in grand finals? Huh. You hear the crowd screaming to play Buzzsaw. I don't know, but Scar is going to commit. Pig's hat trick. Interesting. A and rarely seen variation, but yeah, he's one of the few. Some people feel like this variation is all gimmicks, but this is one of the most underutilized variations in the game, so the jury isn't out yet. A lot of people don't know. I'd expect Sonic Fox to know the gaps in the holes, but Scar. Hey, look, I remember people saying the same about Demo Sonia. She's a gimmick, it's not legit. And so nice, you can see how that paid off. Nice confirm on the jump kick, going into the dive kick, calls the hat back, gets punished. Sonic Fox jumping over the low hat return. And right, Scar no grabs in there. Oh! Alright, jumping away. Trades the hat toss. Yeah. Kung Lao with that mobility. Nice Uses teleport. it. No whiff punish. Not quite. Not quite. Very close. And gets the full combo. Forces Sonic to break. Wake up hat toss. And wow. hey, okay. Scar is very much in this. Okay. Oh, and this is going to be the kill. Yeah. You Jump are kick, right. Dive kick, and the crowd getting hyped. Hat trick loud. Who knows? Who knows? It's still a young game, all right? A Absolutely. year old is a young game in FGC terms. Thank you for saying that. It is. A lot of people don't understand this. Okay. Okay, they're there. They just go away. Tell Toss drops. Teleports in. Ooh, okay. He what a timing. Yeah, he's going to let Sonic know he came to play. There it is. The hat. Oh, very cute. Very cute. 
and the Ip Man punches, throws a hat on oh, 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 yo, that, I don't know if that was for meter builds or psychological mind games, but either way, it worked. All right. And he's actually getting some decent zoning out of this. So for Fox, I feel like the solution is exactly what he's doing right now, which is to get in, not even let that hack control get in there. Wow, okay, that was funky. Oh, my the God. The lows. Where's he going now? Oh. oh. And I don't know if that's what he wanted. But his release check was on because for those elaborate multi-grenade combos, you need to have release check on. Yeah. So he got a spin that he didn't want. Nice trade. Doesn't get the full combo, but recognizes that. Ticks into the throw. Anti-air, he rushed up for it too. What a call. Gonna get the head out. Into what is the question? Oh, no! Because that 4 4 is the mid into the overhead, yep. caused the low hat back, and Scar mixing it up pretty decently. Oh, it's there! Oh, that would have been so sick! And Dead the punish this time. No, not really into much. Doesn't commit to the string. No grab. He probably wasn't expecting There's the punch. grab! Scar still with a bunch of life. He's uh, He has breaker if he's, anything bad happens to him. Yeah, there it is. Oh, man. He's gonna be cornered. He has two bars at his disposal. Drops? No, just control. He Those gave up a meter. Oh! oh! That was so smart. The forward four taking him off the ground, making him throw immune to the command grab and double hitting, breaking the armor. Star has tied it up at one game apiece, bringing out the hat trick Kung Lao. This is real cool to watch, I gotta say. Yep, there it is. Can he get through it? Yeah, yeah. and that's a punish in this I variation. love that, right, exactly. All right, Sonic with the preemptive strike. Takes advantage of his plus frames. Drops are there, damage over time. You can see Scar eating some damage, eating some damage to the chip. And Sonic is mixing it up. Yeah, beautiful. Fantastic pressure. Scar can't really get out at this point. Nice. Escapes the corner, eats the teleport. I think the Scar is perfectly okay with this. Kind of a lost round, you think? Just get out of the corner. All right, here we go. Big damage. Oh, sick. And Scar is styling a bit, drops the end of it. I know I've seen some sick hat trick combos on combo videos, but like not really in real life. No. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, looking for the air. Drops the dive kick, tossing the hat out. EX. Bates. No, not quite oh. that. And the punish too. Very nice by Sonic Fox, keeping his eyes open on that one. And this is gonna hurt. Command grab, will he burn it? Alex oh. to save the meter. Oh, and the meter. Takes it anyway. Yeah. Now Scar has another pocket. He may pull out the smoke. Oh, really? He may pull out the smoke. Okay. That'd be kind of cool to see. We'll see some mobility if so. One game away. I was talking to the Perfect Legend. Uh, and I haven't seen it. I didn't see him play at all before the thing, but he said he was gonna go smoke this whole tournament because he thinks smoke is one of the best characters in the game. That was his thought. He likes the mobility. You oh, know, the mobility the is certainly there. The, yep. And with the smoke all on the screen, you can't even see with the smoke bombs and the yep, string with bombs, the smoke and the yep. phasing and the teleports. Yep, and teleports. He plays a very rampant and wild play style, and that fits Carl so much. As we both know. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was a good call for him. I guess it didn't work out. But All right. We'll see how Scars does. He's going to let the tournament ride on this one. For CR Sonic Fox, if he wins the game, that's it. He wins yet another Mortal Kombat X event. But Scar, if on he his... wins this one, he's got to win another one still before he can do anything after the switch. Scar standing on his last legs, putting his faith in the Triborg. Smoke variation. Will he run it back? Or will it appear to be high noon as... Our Overwatch friends are definitely tuned again. Boost. Blocks. Trading pokes. Command grab tick instantly. Yeah, there's the mobility, right? It's so tough to zone this character. Yeah, and he's definitely not going to be worried about any of the standoff stance. He has a teleport. He has a smoke bomb. All the tools necessary to get around these gunshots. For sure. It's a backdash attempt. Sonic Fox knocked him. Oh, oh God, what a fan. read. And he read the direction he was going in. That was genius. Sonic Fox is showing that he has maybe the solution. Put himself into the corner. Oh, man. With the string for the other side. 
and that is match point. It's tournament point. CR Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox is playing at the absolute highest level, and I like the run after the spear to keep him cornered. Okay, here's Scar. Let's see what he can get. Okay, stand force. Oos, oos, oos. Into the recapture. What's it going to be? Plus frames. Overhead. Watch your head, young Sonic Fox. You don't want that white hat to get too dirty. The thing is, he needs at least two more hits to get this. There's going to be a Greeker on one of them, and then there's not much damage each time. Oh! And a nice crossover into the restand. And Sonic Fox. Oh! Do anything. Oh! Very important. Great. Meaty stand up. Everyone on their feet wanting to see Scar extend this grand finals. Final round, both guys on about four meter. Jumping right in. <gasps> oh, and that was so sick to the other side, the whiff punish. Oh, and again, this time Sonic going for the low, going under Triborg's high string stun. And the punish on the whiff? Look at this movement. This guy is maximizing these phase aways now. Sonic got a read on the first time he did it, but each subsequent one has been in the right direction and gave Scar the momentum. Oh, NJP, here comes Scar. He needs so much more though, again, you see, each time the damage is not really there. He just has to hit a lot. And okay, and a nice throw break. Go out of the air. Tried to get it. Not quite there. The back dash. Oh my God! Had to Phasing break it. Through. Invincible phase away. And what is look happening? For, I don't know why we look for that. No punish. Doesn't have the bar. Uses the interactable to escape. Right up close, though, is Sonic Fox. And I think that's where Fox wants to be. The zoning clearly is not cutting it, so he wants to get close. Plus frames. Thin to what? Got it! Will that be it? it? Kill. Can he do it's anything? The escape? Oh! Down one down seals one. the deal! Star on the magic pixel. Looking for any chance to escape. As Sonic Fox flexes the MKX muscles. Flexes the Aaron Black gunshots. And the furry champion himself secures yet another CEO title belt. Stop me if you've heard this one before. MKX champion, Sonic Fox, CR Sonic Fox. Oh, I've heard that before. What you don't know is that I wasn't even saying that. It's the recording on my phone that I have, and I just play it. I just have it. Should we all get one? Oh, I think we should probably just all have that. It save us as commentators a lot all right, of trouble. Alright, let's do it. Everybody in the world, let's make an anti-coalition Sonic Fox thing and try to stop him. We can make like a, a Sonic Fox commentary soundboard. Yeah. Maybe. And make nice with Nice whip punish. Great air-to-air, -air, great anti-air conversion. Sick. I love the tick into command grab. Nice trophy. Yeah. Good, good job with the Fox kill. It's a bad day. The Fox reigns supreme yeah, once again. Yeah, I mean, again. he does. But this tournament was really great. It was some of the best players in the world. I loved seeing Samij march his way through. Absolutely. That's awesome. I love the, uh, you know, the different characters that we ended up seeing. Sure, there was some Alien and Melina. But at the end, I like how Scar is the one who sort of came on through, all the way through, into Grand Finals to bring in a few different characters. A lot of variety we ended up seeing. Now, Sonic Fox is going to be riding into EVO in full momentum. ESL champion, CEO champion. Once again, it's the Fox against the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in all honesty, well, he's like my little brother. I hope he loses. We got to take him out of Evo. Somebody has to do it. Yeah, you know, uh, in Injustice, the same thing happened, right? He won for an entire year. Literally an entire year. Yeah, literally. Uh, and it, towards the end of it, I mean, MK was coming out. But on top of that, I feel like people just sort of got disheartened. It is hard to play against. We're playing for second place, and we know it. Well, I guess. In Injustice. No, in, oh, in Injustice, yeah. certainly yeah. that was the case. Yeah. In this game, there's enough talent in MKX that I believe that people could be doing more. Absolutely. But you know what? Consistently, it's Sonic Fox. And it's it's not even just like it's an NRS phenomenon. If he's playing Undernight, if he's playing Street Fighter, if he's playing DOA. In Skullgirls? In Skullgirls, of course. So good. He's a threat in whatever he wants to take seriously. <laughs> Shout out to Artist Uno, my guy here in Florida who makes the banners. Oh, sick. And Paulo we trust. Are you a devout believer in thy Paulo's vision? Of course, Paulo being the combat designer for another own games. We are. And uh, while you didn't see much 50-50s, so successful from Aaron Black. Sonya mixes, Alien mixes, Melina mixes. And it shows. Well, I, I'll say this. I feel like in, in terms of these 
the final characters, right? So Sonic Fox with the Gunslinger obviously has mix-ups up close, but there's zoning in there. Absolutely. And there, there are footsies in there. The way that Scar plays is very, uh, you know, he plays for the pressure, but in order to do that, a lot of the is mid-range stuff. As Melina, Fox Grandpa, the footsies I think are some of the best in the world. And that's what separates them from all of us. Totally. Even Dragon. Alien mixes, but his anti-air game, his decision making. Yeah. There's a reason why you see when these you see these characters, it's always the same guy representing. Exactly. Yeah, people talk about Alien all the time, and I certainly understand why. But when it comes down to it, there's really just a few in the world who make him look as good as he can be. Absolutely. As we have Rick passing out the medals. I thought I wasn't working at uh, CEO. Uh, Rick has been a busy man. Of course, he ran Combo Breaker, but he's he has his hands in a lot of things here yep. at CEO, at the Wizard World events, all sorts of other stuff too. There you go. Congrats to Sonic Fox. Currently on summer break after high school, having finished high school just recently. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Those paintings are really nice. Yo, I bought two. I bought two. The artists in the alley, like collectively? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about CEO. It's not just the game, uh, the gameplay, but there's the pool party and there's the artist alley. Yeah. Those are things that I look for every time here, and I always walk away with something cool. Even the side room with all the games, the arcade sticks, and the, the bring your own setups. We actually ran an impromptu in just this one tournament this really? morning. Really? Yeah, so I was still running back and forth. Of course this. you are. And of course, Sonic Fox won that. But, of course. You know, the streak continues two years. Yeah, that's but right, yeah. But we orchestrated a Def Jam Fight for New York tournament on PS2. Yeah, who does that? I, I don't know. There's you guys. a guy walking around looking for money matches and Miss Pac-Man high scores. Oh, wow. There, there's so much flexibility. So, all right, I need to get on the stage. All righty. Yep, get up there, man. Move, move this. All right, well, thanks a lot for joining us for MKX at CEO a couple years in a row so far. It's been fantastic. Uh, I really like how this tournament played out. Tons of hype moments. Love the mid-range game. Love the mix-ups up close. Uh, stick around on CEO Gaming. There's going to be a lot more games after this. Anti-Hugo. No, you can do this. Hugo Falls. Who's my anti-Hugo? Anti-Slime is wrong. 